game because we obviously played Sunday and we got that. And I was hoping, uh, again, that it would be uh, doable for our fans. And it's just going to be so difficult. I've never been to Spokane, believe it or not. I, uh, I'm friends with Mark Few. We're going to practice in their facility if I can get him to return my call. <laughs> um, but And, and uh, we're going to go out and – I don't know how big the arena is. Uh, I, I'm sure we'll have some diehard fans there. I think Auburn plays directly after us, so there'll be some fans for Auburn. I'm sure make the trip as well as Alabama. So I, I'm a, I'm a little, you know, I wish it was closer because it would be more of an experience for, for all of our fan bases. But um, I can't wait to see our guys. Uh, this is a childhood dream for all the guys in my locker room, and they're they're approaching it with this childlike. Christmas Eve mindset. And I think that's really cool. Awesome. Uh, Stephen Pearl joins us every Tuesday. I am going to finish the interview the exact same way I finished it with him. Uh, we wish you all the best. We hope you go up there and win a couple of games. And we're talking to you about this tournament and your advancement again next week. Hey, guys, I appreciate you. We're going to continue to try to crash that party. Hey, hey, do yeah. it. Do it. We're pulling for you. Thank you, Andy. Good that luck. Is, and that is a good looking right. trophy. Yeah, that's I'll a good trophy. You. I agree. That is a nice trophy. Yeah, especially yeah. with you. the net around it. Thank you. Take care. Andy Kennedy with us, courtesy of Legacy Credit Union. All right. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Andy and Steven on the uh, getaway show here. We'll be talking to some uh, Bama folks as we get closer uh, to, to tip time coming up on Thursday. Don't know exactly which player will uh, pop on with us yet, but we'll get somebody hopefully before we tip things off uh, on the, uh, Thursday and Friday at the different sites around the country. Don't forget my bookie bringing you the bracket challenge. Nextroundlive.com is the website. Nextroundlive.com is the website or any of the links right there. It's powered by my bookie. Also some great prizes and great food with our friends at Champies, championschicken.com. Thank you to Legacy who brings you Andy every day on the show. They uh, do a wonderful job there. Their swap and drop program continues right now. Swapandrop.com, swapandrop.com. All right, fun show today. We appreciate everybody being with us. Uh, tomorrow, uh, about 23 hours from now, we'll unveil the bracket punishments selected by our co workers individually for each of us. If we lose the brackets this year, that'll be in the 11 o'clock hour tomorrow. So uh, we look forward to learning those fates. Our brackets will be locked at 11 o'clock central time tomorrow. No changes after that. Enjoy a play-in that night. It's True TV Tuesday for the NCAA tournament. Until next time, God bless you and God bless America. That's going to kill me. She's playing all night And the music's all right Mama's got a squeeze But daddy never sleeps at night Where the dogs don't eat And the kids don't sleep No escape from the music In the whole damn street Because she's playing Jim Dunaway, 
Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. I mean, who hasn't taken a semester abroad? Now, most people don't go, don't go to Iowa to take a semester yeah, abroad. That'd be me. We'll talk about Caden Proctor in a second because it may not be the most urgent story out there. Um, it's a football story, Jim. What starts tomorrow? Uh, the NCAA That's basketball right. Come tournament on. starts. The NCAA Why are y'all talking basketball football? Tournament. Man, this this portal thing. I, yeah, well, I, I never saw this angle neither. on the portal. You know who did? Wimp Sanders. Uh, yeah, he that did. Cranky, cranky, cranky old man, old man yeah. sitting on his porch, Ow. yelling at the clouds. I knew it was going to be this way. You know, it and just it seemed, was this way when it was when it was said out loud. It seemed so preposterous yeah. that something like that that you could have a guy leave a program, let it marinate for a couple of months, and then possibly go back to that program. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that in a second. It's something a little bigger that a lot of you have been talking about. And it's, it's Alabama who arrived yesterday out in Spokane. Um, multiple people have told me Nick Pringle wasn't on the flight. Yeah, that is both shocking and not shocking. Yeah. Now, am I right about this? At one point, he was suspended this year. A couple games. Yeah. I think two separate suspensions, essentially, right? And came back to the team. Yeah. Uh, I am told by one person out there that um, – they do expect Pringle to arrive today. What is this? Andy Kennedy was all with us. He didn't know what time they were flying. What is he so bossing? I mean, how's he going to get out there? Um, but, but I just, as we start the show today, Reese Davis next segment, is there, I was, I was, I was in at Nashville, and I was in the, the post locker room with, with Auburn a lot. Chemistry, very tight. Where do you put Alabama's chemistry as we get ready to tip off this NCAA tournament? Well, it's tournament? interesting you bring this up because I have said this for weeks and, you know, having discussions with Alabama fans, not only is the defense bad, they're missing shots now, but there seems to be something off. I don't know what it is. It just seems something internally possibly. and I don't know what that is. I know there's rumors out there now, yeah. and I don't know if Pringle is kind of the root of this. I really don't know, but, but something's off. Um, everyone trusts Nate Oates, right? Everyone trusts him. Uh, Alabama trusts him enough to give him a great contract. He trusts Alabama enough to get the 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 big buyout uh, that would keep him in Tuscaloosa. He's got a great recruiting class coming in. He picked up a portal guy yesterday. I mean, a lot of people griping about that portal opening up. Alabama said, okay, it opens up. They go out and they get from Pepperdine a six five shooting guard. A six five shooting guard is pretty good size, yeah. by the way. In Houston, Millette. He averages he hits forty one percent of his threes and he averages fourteen point seven a game for Pepperdine this past year. Can he play? Can he play Friday night? That's yeah, my really. what you what you doing? Yeah, can he move uh, up from Pepperdine up to Spokane for the a, weekend? It's a two way deal for Pepperdine, like they do uh, in the G League. Yeah, I don't like if I mean is Nick Pringle like is he having to pay his own way out there or are they I mean I, I would like to know the details on this like if yeah. Nick Pringle was in fact not on the team plane uh which I think was just the school plane right because yeah, it's that, a charter, you're the seeing the board, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was because I think you're seeing the difference between the haves and the have nots I guess it was but like how were how was Auburn and Alabama able to get out on Tuesday and then AK's on with us yesterday like I don't even know what time we're leaving yet yeah. I mean I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I think it is different. I, th yeah. I think it's budgetary. But you know what? The NCAA, shame on them with the money they make in this tournament. They actually should take care of everything. No, I would agree with you completely. I just wonder if sometimes NCAA is like, yeah, we're paying for the flight, but it's on Wednesday, and Nate Oates and Bruce Pearl are able to go to Greg Burney and John Cohen and say, better for us to get out there Tuesday. What, what time is the school plane going to be on the runway? You know, I don't, I don't know how all those things work, Jim. So yeah. that is, that is kind of my question about Pringle. If, in fact, he was not on whatever team charter they were on, you know, like Lance said, is he busing? Is he trained? Does well, he have to pay his own flight? Is he standing at the gate at Hartsfield right now <laughs> hoping he's on? No, if this was the TNT show right now, uh, Forrester would have a Photoshop Nick Pringle up hitching a ride somewhere <laughs> in a wheat field in mid-America trying to get out to Spokane. Or it, it just it comes at an inopportune time. 
But you never know about this tournament. Well, what, what can what can my, bond teams yeah, I know, together? And that was going to be my point. Is like it would be so college athletics that Nick Pringle has to you hitch know, a ride, hitch a ride to get out, out there. there, and then plays the tournament of his life. I mean, that would be just like. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of I, I don't think we'd be talking, and I know this name has been brought up a lot, Charles Bediaco. If he was still in this roster, there's a chance Pringle's not even playing. Like uh, He'd be getting like eight minutes like, a game. Like right? when he went in the doghouse, yeah. he stays in the doghouse, nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a body you've got to have now because you don't have any, any size. I am, uh, I am as Alabama as anybody in this world, it seems like. Sometimes I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. <laughs> <laughs> But this whole Betty Aco thing this year is starting to sound a whole lot like Colt McCoy if he hadn't got hurt. I mean, I've heard if Betty Aco was still in this well, team I mean, all year just, long, it, all year yeah. long. I mean, it, it, while yeah. it may be true, it's just like, well, he's not. So, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah. So we don't know what happened uh, with Pringle. According to people I trust, uh, he wasn't with the team on the trip out to Spokane. But those same people – believe Pringle will be there today and will do whatever he has to do to be at the practice and then part of the team when they they do the official practice Thursday at the arena and then Friday when they is play this, the game. Is this one of those where if you're Nate Oates, you go to Greg Byrne or your basketball ops guy or whatever and say, look, get him out there, but tell him because it's so last minute, you got to put him on this flight, and you make him really. I mean, like he's in coach at six nine, he's in coach, and you know he's having to connect, and he's got to go through a connector in Dallas, Fort Worth, and Salt Lake City before he could get there. Yeah, I mean, you just was? make it. You just make it as bad a travel day as possible. Uh, did you guys see the movie Flight? Which one is it? is that? Denzel, is that upside, Denzel down? upside down. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Have you it seen was, it, Rocky? I have. He's a what is it? Cocaine and orange juice. Yeah, I like, he likes everything. Uh, <laughs> vodka before he actually got behind uh, to man the big flight. It was based on a true story. I think I've said this before. When the guy tried to in, introvert the plane when the hydraulics went out, it was over the Pacific Ocean. It goes down and kills everybody. Wouldn't have made for a good movie. So my point was going to be at the end of the movie, before he testifies, he gets he goes on a bender. He finds like an open bar in one of the refrigerators. He wasn't supposed to have access to alcohol. He gets so wasted. And they were supposed to babysit him every step of the way. So they have to bring in a cocaine dealer, played by John Goodman, to get him back straight where he can testify. So he takes cocaine to override the alcohol? Yeah. I didn't know that worked. That's a lot of people, again, <laughs> I know. Is that, what they, quite sure is that what they call a highball? Uh, no, I think a highball is a combination of speed and cocaine. Okay. Yeah. Um, but should write, People should write songs about that. They probably. I bet your your man Hank Williams Jr. probably has Rolling subtly. Stones have probably dabbled. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's plenty of viewers and listeners that have done cocaine. I've said I've never done it before, but I have heard that people can be completely wasted. They do a bump, and they're fine. But uh, anyway, my point was going to be that. So they're wasted on alcohol and do a little nose candy, and they're good to go after that. that, that and that's that, what that's a real thing. That's what I've heard. Okay. No, and Patrick, I'm not saying that's what Pringle's doing. What I'm no, saying I, is we do need to let Lance <laughs> we're talking point, about but. a babysitter, and that's what Denzel had to have before he testified before Congress. Yeah. Okay, I got you. So you're saying Nick Pringle needs a babysitter. Yes. That was a long yes. way around yeah, to say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, probably, probably yeah. confused a few people by our interruptions. I get it. So Pringle expected to be with the team at some point today. Okay. Uh, for all those that is that, a, is that a is that a positive or a negative in your mind? I think it's a positive. Like I if like he had it. to get left behind, if in fact he had to get left, I behind. I don't know. Do his teammates like him? I, I, you know, I hate to throw well, these things out. We're just we're just speculating here. Well, I don't but know if his they, teammates are done with him and he shows up. Is that a good thing? I don't. I don't think Nate Oates would allow it. I don't if think he thought that were the case. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's yeah. saying speedball. By the way, don't away. You, yeah. you come back again. Yeah. Not not, yeah. <laughs> not the allegation against Pringle. It's yeah. tying up the loose end on Lance's story. You come back. You you if you did something wrong, you say you're sorry. You're back at practice. Uh, maybe today, but definitely for the work around tomorrow. Then you go out there and you swap flies all day long. You play a little defense. I, I like Pringle's game. I like Pringle's game. When he's, when he's dialed in, that's when Alabama's at its best. I also think we tend to I, over... I guess I'm opposite Brownie. There are some people think Alabama's at their best. Four guards with Grant Nelson inside. I like it when Grant and Pringle are out there and both playing well or when Pringle can take Grant's place when Grant inevitably gets into foul trouble? I would say I I think a lot of times we overvalue what a 20 or 21-year-old gets caught up in. 
like when you talk about locker room problems, stuff that would probably affect us as grown adults that have seen a lot of things versus what a 20 year or 21 year old. I think sometimes we overvalue locker room issues. Well, trust me. On any team. As adults and as one of the adults who ride an emotional roller coaster all the time, uh-huh. I can see where anybody could get frustrated in a long basketball season and say something that could be out of line or do something that could be out of line that could get you, you know, when Nick, I don't even know what it was, but he had a, he had a couple of game suspensions earlier. One time he wasn't with the team, one time he's in dress clothes, if I remember correctly, earlier this season. Who knows what happened then? Who knows what has happened this time? You keep that within the team. The, the, the thing that fans care about is this. Is Nick Pringle going to play? on uh, Friday, and is he going to help the team or hurt the team if he's going to play? And those are the decisions coaches end up having to make. And in this situation, a coach that gets paid a lot will have to make that decision. So we'll see um, when Pringle, if he shows up out there and if he uh, is with the team, we'll uh, – We'll let you know when we get some confirmation when all that happens. And I still, I think I'm in the minority. I think Alabama fans that are like true blood Alabama fans that, you know, they've got Alabama going to the Final Four. I really believe Alabama is going to make a little bit of a run. I think they're going to be in the second weekend of this tournament. Don't give away your bracket. Well, I, I will tell you. I my, finally logged in, by the way. My, all right. <laughs> We've got progress. Lunsford, if, uh, I don't know if Tyler told you. I wanted to lock the bracket at 10. And, yeah, I'll have it by 10, I and, promise. And do the unveiling, but LT has just now figured out how to log in. So uh, he, <laughs> It ain't that Lunsford, I just figured. Lunsford just did That's did fine. This. It will just, be ready by 10 o'clock. It's, it's easy to do once you log in. Okay. I did mine in like two so minutes. At 10 o'clock, so are you able show. to lock our three brackets? Can you prevent anybody from changing? I trust these guys, well, but I would love a little backup on the trust. I don't know why I would change. I mean, I, 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 said, I said yesterday was my last change. But the Kansas news, I do at least reserve the right. I don't think Lunsford's monitoring this, but I reserve the right to make changes based on Kansas. Big here. news there. Uh, that coming up in a second. I, I can't officially lock them. Well, we'll just go scouts on here. I can see what your brackets are right okay. now, technically, yeah. as the admin. But is it so the, I can make sure if it changes, then I think you pretty much automatically lose at that on, point. On my printed sheet, it I think it says last time my picks were modified, right? Like mine were last modified, sadly, at uh, 12.05 a.m. Yeah, mine was just <laughs> modified. I yeah. just changed. I can see all that. So tell me a point, and I will okay. pull them at that point. Right, well, 10 o'clock. Uh, I will uh, have them. Whenever Lance locks it in, you write down those modified I'm times. I'm almost there. He's almost there. You almost did okay. the whole tournament yeah. while we're no, doing this? No, no, no. I'm just saying I will have it done by the time by we come back at yep. our next break. Yep. All right. So here is the bracket challenge powered by our friends at MyBookie, MyBookie.ag, MyBookie.ag. Uh, you can go there. You can play along. You will see a leaderboard. We got some prizes for you, real prizes that you actually can win. We got some prizes for you. But we also have a leaderboard where you can keep up with the whole staff up there and see how, I don't know, who's going to kick our butts this year. Is it going to be Lunsford? Is it going to be Forrester? Is it going to be Tyler? Tyler. Tyler. Tyler are going to do it this year. Next round live bracket challenge for bragging rights. Some great local prizes that you can actually earn. Powered by my bookie and also our friends at Champies has some uh, gift cards. Part of the win there. Uh, we appreciate Sterling Champies Chicken dot com. My bookie bringing you part of the show today as well. Brownie, tell us about our friends at my bookie. Well, you can play all the games right there in the tournament. Uh, I'll ask Lance. Uh, what I do every time I do this, any, any interesting line movements that you have seen, Lance? Anything well, out, jump out at you? Outside of Kansas, you know, I was in the middle of another Calcutta last night. And right it before, Calcutta we had just gotten done with Sanford on the bid on Sanford. Uh-uh. Yeah, and then was it went to Kansas. Broke? And how about this? I, I, I hadn't bid on a team. And just to get the bidding going, I bid on Kansas, and nobody did a second bid. Well, so I got stuck with Kansas. I had to uh, buy them last good night. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, they are minus seven against Sanford. It had jumped up, I think, to eight, eight and a half. Yeah. So it's back yeah. down a point and a half on the news. Here come the dogs. Uh, so they arrived in Salt Lake City yesterday. UAB still a seven-point underdog. Auburn a 12-and-a-half point favorite. And Alabama nine-and-a-half point favorite. All right there at mybookie.ag. You can bet this entire tournament. In fact, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere. With mybookie.ag, don't forget code next round when you sign on to get that sign-on bonus. Use it right away. Win once with it. It is yours and yours forever. Mybookie.ag, code next round. Mybookie.ag, code next round. Hey. And get in the mybookie.ag bracket challenge. Hey, we need to uh, pick up the pace because we've got two stories to get to. But Reese Davis still be scheduled to be with us in the next segment, I assume. So we got nine. You were uh, uh, correct in that. Yeah, we got about 
six minutes to br- just touch on these and we'll bring them back. But on uh, the the North the uh, the Kansas player Kevin McCullers being ruled out for the tournament. His injury hasn't changed. I felt like Kansas played a shell game with the committee here by protecting the news on McCullough that he wasn't going to come back. They shut him down for the tournament. Uh, Kansas has Kevin McCullough ruled out now. That changes because all without McCullough, Auburn is in this bracket. They're in the Kansas you, so bracket. Think uh, I don't know. Oh, Auburn definitely would be ahead of a Kansas well, when McCullough's well, out. Well, for maybe, the tournament. but I don't. I don't know if Bill well, Self. No, wait, wait, wait. There's no maybe. I'm not going to let you off the hook on a maybe there. There's no maybe there. Yeah, but I don't think Bill Self played it like that. I think it really was. Hey, let's shut everybody down. Well, let's get out of the Big Twelve and let's hope for the best. I think there was the thought that McCullers would play. He was injured. He came back and played, got re-injured, and then he was shut down. Yeah. I, I mean, not... did we switch bodies overnight? Is my mind in yours? Are you, you're sounding like me. I'm usually the naive one but, on the show. But, Bill Self is. Bill Self has a track record of not always being upstanding. Well, I'm just saying, watch out for Kansas still. Although they don't have the depth and they're missing their leading scorer, I think Kansas can still make a run. And the good news for Kansas, if you beat the teams you're supposed to beat in the first weekend – then you're going to play Purdue. And Purdue is a better team than Kansas, but Purdue is Purdue, and it's more. (laughs) But if Kansas was where Auburn was, you wouldn't say they'd make a run without McCullough. No, you're right. But if Auburn was where Kansas was, you would say, oh, I'm going to put Auburn in the Final Four. Yeah, I don't know if I would have Auburn beating Purdue and Auburn beating UConn. You know, again, if Auburn was where Alabama was and your one seed was North Carolina, I would probably have Auburn in the Final Four. Um, Andy agrees with Jim. Self ain't stupid. Brody, Bill Self 100% game the system. This is in the chat room. Mm. I'm the people's winner this early. (laughs) Auburn fans. Auburn fans. It's very early. I mean, I had not thought of it in those terms about how it would have affected everybody's seeding, not just Kansas. Alabama could have bumped up. Maybe so. Well, Maybe into a tougher situation. Yeah. Alabama's probably glad Bill Self played the game. <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah. Because Alabama likes where they are right now. Okay, one more thing here in this segment. Uh, brought to you by our friends at Hemphill. They bring you Lance'sLock.com. Uh, Lance last night was on Colorado State at Lance'sLock.com. Am I correct? On the Wagner Seahawks. He's on the Wagner Seahawks. I mean, not like Howard had three shots at the end. Oh, my the gosh. Oh, three good looks. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You know, so I'm in the middle of that last night at the Hoover Country Club. Shout out to those guys. Great, great bunch of guys. And – I got an update. You're up 17 in the second half. Game's over. I'm getting three and a half. It's <clears> over. <throat> then the next thing I know, one possession, down three. If it goes to overtime, dogs go to die in overtime. Uh, no doubt. And I cannot believe the looks they got. I know. Yeah, I'll give them looks. credit, too. That was well played. I mean, rebound, boom, back out. Rebound, boom, back out. I mean, and he got three good looks. Really good looks. Hemphill brings you uh, an update on Caden Proctor's return. Yeah, trust the name Birmingham is trusted since 1954 for all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling issues. Whether it's your home or business, they are ready to serve you. Call Adam Chan. Andrew, the guys, 205-229-2090 or HempHillServices.com. When do I get to talk about one of the most overrated coaches in basketball? Uh, after Reese Davis okay. or with Reese Davis. Caden right. Proctor returning to Alabama, according to reports. Uh, we do have a fake Kirk Ferentz sound, if you'd like to hear. <laughs> so good. I love it when they do this. <laughs> These are fantastic. I know. Um, let's see. It's going to be on, on the bottom side of the ship, uh, of the sheet here. Uh, cut 10, Rockstar. Cut 10. Um, this is AI generated. They're so fake. You can see at Heaven's FX, they're the ones that do this. Here's Kirk Ferentz on Caden Proctor leaving Iowa, coming back to Alabama, according to reports. It is unfortunate that Caden has informed us of his intentions to leave our program today. We wish him well in the future. Uh, sure, he played us for suckers and pocketed the lion's <laughs> share of our limited NIL money resources. <laughs> but the good news is he did not take a copy of our playbook with him, so we won't have to change a single thing uh, schematically, and that should really excite Iowa fans this fall. <laughs> okay, I bit. So I bit early. I bit early. You Which did? one? Yeah. No, on this one or on the one where Brian Friends told everybody they could crawl up? <laughs> no, it's this, okay. this one for the first 10 gotcha. seconds. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, always no, look in the background. Yeah. At Heaven's yeah. up there. Yeah, they, they tip it off. But yeah. other than that, it is very well done. Very, and turned it out quick last yeah. night. Um, but according to reports, Caden Proctor, um, he can't do it officially until April 15th, but he's going to enter the portal again. And he has this on his Instagram page yesterday. I'm back. The and he Michael used the Jordan Michael Jordan quote. Jordan quote. Yeah. <laughs> the Michael Jordan quote there. Okay. So uh, that is uh, 
that's big news. So are Bama fans back to thinking this kid's good? Yeah, everyone is okay. scrubbing. Everyone's scrubbing their <laughs> Twitter right, account. I got you. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. if I sound a little off this morning, full disclosure, we recorded a Bama and bourbon about an hour ago. So right. You've had a, a bur- I've had a, a breakfast, double bourbon. We call him a bourbon. breakfast bourbon. <laughs> uh, but Aaron Suttles was on there, and you know, and obviously he's got some really good in, inside information from Yay Alabama. And I asked him, I said, "How big is this?" And he's like, "It's massive." He was like. Proctor, and you guys can see the uh, the full interview and the full pod coming up here in a little bit on Roll Tide Pods. But he said Proctor was a turnstile early, and he got really, really good as the season went on. So I think you'll see a Caden Proctor that comes back with a ton of confidence. Yeah, I do think he was hurt in the Rose Bowl. If you want to yeah, judge was. him, if yeah. you want to judge him on that, I do think he was hurt in the Rose Bowl, and I think was even questionable in the week of the game. Um, but I he he definitely improved. And now, yeah, I mean. Can he continue to improve is the question. And, and the big buzz around everyone else is can can anyone else come back? Is there I mean, there's all sorts of rumors about a spring break trip and maybe other people starting to say maybe I want to be back in Tuscaloosa. So we'll see if uh So the, if I'm down to my luck, I could maybe turn around and come back to Tuscaloosa. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Oh. You can get the Caleb out of town. That did not make any sense. There was no play, there was no play on words. I've had no bourbon today. Okay. Uh, when we come back, Reese Davis is on the show. We'll talk to him about March Madness. Ironically, much like Caden Proctor, Reese has come to the state of Alabama twice, left, and will come back to Alabama at some point in the future. He brought game day here twice during basketball season. Reese on the other side, the show being brought to you by JohnsonRVCenter.com. JohnsonRVCenter.com. I actually saw yesterday – when I was out at Talladega, you were there too, where Johnson RV is going to be pa- parking some of their RVs. And we're going to have some fun with them out there. You can get a great price right now with Johnson RV, as always, but they've repriced everything, and they are so confident they got the best prices. They give you a nationwide price match guarantee on any comparable RV. Bring them the price. They will beat it at Johnston RV Center on a comparable RV. Also, RV warranty forever. Any new or used RV under two years of age, anything that qualifies covered with a warranty forever. You can see more at johnstonrvcenter.com or visit them in person. I-65, exit 304 in Coleman, 334 in Decatur, Johnston RV Center. Follow Rockstar on Twitter at RockstarBHM. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. The World Wide Web is a large place. Find all your favorite people and content in the same spot. NextRoundLive.com is full of wonderful tidbits about the show you know and love. Find our gear, listen to your favorite personalities, follow our socials, and enjoy your trip to NextRoundLive.com. You have all heard of Red Wing Shoes, but what is Red Wing Shoes? It's the place where men buy boots, plain and simple. Who are Red Wing's customers? They are construction workers, warehouse employees, college students, the guy that fixes your AC, the guy at the end of the bar, the IT guy. Red Wing is a father, Red Wing is a son, Red Wing is a cult following shared by all men. A classic comfortable pair of cool boots with a story to tell. What's your Red Wing story? Red Wing Shoe Stores, located in Pelham and Trussville. Tournament time is almost here, but any time is a great time to jump on with MyBookie.ag. When you sign up at MyBookie.ag, use code NEXTROUND for a special sign-on bonus. You can use that bonus right away. Win once with it. It is yours and yours forever. Not like some of the sites that make you win 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times before you keep the bonus. You win once at MyBookie.ag. It is yours forever. Basketball tournaments, NBA, the start of Major League Baseball, NASCAR, and golf. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. MyBookie.ag. Code NEXTROUND. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? 
If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. Visit nextroundlive.com today. It's free, unless you haven't paid your internet bill. So go ahead and pay that, and then it's free. Heck, you can pull out your phone and go to nextroundlive.com right now, where you'll find all the free content that you can stomach, unless you haven't paid your phone bill. Then you need to pay that, and then you can enjoy all the free content. Nextroundlive.com is so rewarding that it should be behind a paywall, like Lance's Lock. So in summary, play Lance's Lock. Then you'll have enough money to pay your bills, and go to nextroundlive.com, where you're always at your happiest, for free. Reese Davis, in just a second, our friends at Storm Restoration Roofing. Uh, y'all know him, right? Can anybody? Hey, Reese? No. Oh. Storm Restoration Roofing. That's Greg from Pell City. Greg from Pell City. That's GPC. Right. Do you know his last name? Uh, Nelson. Greg Nelson. I'm sorry, Lance. No. I made a dominate oh, the conversation yeah, yeah. there. Storm no, Restoration Roofing. Locally, Storm Restoration Roofing. Locally owned for how long? Over? Lance? 20 years. 20, 20 years. 20 years. How much does he charge, charge for that? Uh, as you say, a free, what, what is it, Rockstar? A no charge free inspection? Yeah. You double down on it. That's what Dunaway says. <laughs> no cost, no obligation. <laughs> free inspection on your roof. Storm Restoration Roofing. There's the number, 205-542-3531. He'll get up there, check the shingles, anything else, and make sure you've got no water leakage that can cause problems, especially this time of year. It is Storm Restoration Roofing. All right, Reese Davis, one of the faces of college basketball there on ESPN and a friend of the show. We appreciate him. Uh, somebody told us in the chat room that one day on McAfee, uh, Reese said he learned of Bucky McMillan, some friends of his who do a show in Birmingham. We just own that that is us. I don't know, Reese, if you were talking about us, but we, we, took, we took ownership of it. Yes. Uh, I, I don't I don't remember. I've heard of, uh, of Bucky for quite some time. People, you know, touting him for jobs. Well, he was a, uh, he was a, a standout high school coach there, wasn't yeah, he? Mountain oh, yeah, Brook. Mountain Brook, yeah. Mount Brook, and, yeah. and did they win a bunch of state championships? Yeah. Maybe, oh, I yeah. think. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Trent and yeah, Watford. Do you remember Trent and Watford that played at? Uh, of course, yeah. yeah, that, yeah, was yeah, his, yeah. that was his star player there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Well, they've got, a, they've got a good team and a fun team to watch, and I think they also got, as crazy as this is to say, I think they got an excellent draw. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, if they had, if they had, if they had drawn Kansas at full strength, would that have been a bad deal for them? But Kansas is not going to be close to full strength now. And, you know, so I, I think it's a pretty okay. good draw. For Your team. opinion, please, on what we were just discussing. Dunaway thinks Bill Self gamed the system a little bit with the selection committee on how he slow played the announcement of this. Those are injury. harsh words, but uh, literally, yeah, that's I exactly what, what you said. said but, yeah. it, but it is the genesis of what I was I mean, saying. Do you, do, you, do you maybe see that, Reese, to protect his seating a little bit? Well, I mean, who wouldn't do that? Everybody does that. I mean, it would have been news if he didn't do that. I mean, you're not college coaches are not predisposed to give away any type of information. They won't acknowledge that the sun rises in the east. So, <laughs> well, they're, they're not going to acknowledge that a player is not going to go. But I think that most most people watching that had a pretty good idea that uh, Kevin McCullough wouldn't be able to go. The real the real question is where is Hunter Dickinson now? You know the shoulder injury that he suffered appeared to be, and, and you know. I shouldn't say this because you're going to get in trouble. I may be dead wrong about this. So I want to offer that caveat. When Hunter was hurt, it appeared uh, to the untrained eye that the shoulder came out of place. Now, if you are familiar with these injuries, and, and my son had this happen, so I am to some degree, not, not like a doctor, but what I was told by doctors at the time was, like, this is going to continue to happen. Now, go back in, rehab it, you can probably go. You know, if it doesn't come out, great. If it does, well, you know, there you go. So if indeed that is the case and that's what happened, then you don't know where you are with him. Now, maybe maybe they're like, no, 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 just, you know, he just hurt it, it bruised, it was a little strained. We've given him the Big 12 tournament off in some time, and he's good. And that may be the case, and I hope it is. But I think it also is fair to wonder whether he is 100%, you know, going into it. So you've got the two uh, 
two best players for Kansas, who uh, one of whom will not play, and the other one that they hope will play and hope will be is as good as he normally is because he is an excellent player. I think a lot of people, Reese, agree that two coaches under the most pressure, both in the Midwest, Purdue and Tennessee. If I said one of those two teams gets to the Final Four in Phoenix, or I'll give you the field of the other 14 teams, combo of Purdue, Tennessee, or the other 14? Oh, I, I, I'll take Purdue, Tennessee. Um, because I think Tennessee's not only going to the Final Four, I think they're going to go to the national championship game and and get whooped by UConn, which is what everybody else is going to do, um, as well as whoever. In fact, if you if you're if you meet UConn, if you get to UConn in your bracket, you should hang a banner at the end and say we we maximize. It should say maximized our NCAA tournament bid. Because we made it to UConn, and then you and then you get beat. I may I make it sound like they're invincible, and I'm being slightly hyperbolic. But as it pertains to Purdue and Tennessee, both have enormous tournament baggage. Purdue more so than Tennessee, uh, but Purdue's bracket opened up rather nicely for them, I think already. Uh, so I will be shocked if Purdue doesn't make it to the Elite Eight. Uh, I think they'll play Tennessee there. And I, I favor Tennessee to win that game. But, it, you know, I mean, Zach Eady is the one force that no one can match up with in college basketball. So I would be very happy for either of those guys in either of those programs if they make it to the Final Four. But I would definitely take Purdue-Tennessee uh, over over the rest of the field. That's in the, that's the Midwest, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. In the Midwest. Definitely take those two over the rest of the field because Kansas is diminished. Gonzaga is still really good, but they're, you know, they're not as good as they've been in recent years. Creighton's certainly a threat. I mean, they're, they're, that's an excellent team, and they're certainly a threat, but I would still take Purdue and Tennessee over the field. Um, I, you, um, I'm old, uh, but I, I, I still, at this age of my career, Reese, I get caught up with recent, re- recency bias. I was in Nashville mm-hmm. for the SEC tournament. This Auburn team has such great chemistry. Uh, I thought four seemed a little low for them, but I know a lot of the SC, a lot of the tournaments aren't looked at by the selection committee. I thought maybe they would be a three, but to the to your point, what you just said, if they win two games, they get UConn. And I would look at Ken Palm all year, and Auburn's so highly rated in Ken Palm. I feel like that's a little mm-hmm. early to be having to play UConn. How do you think about what do you think about Auburn's draw? And do you think maybe they got jabbed a little bit by the committee there? Uh, the committee has, uh, you know, everybody always yells that they want consistency, right? Right. So, uh, so the, the committee's been fairly consistent over the years. That even though the the members have changed, and that they they value certain things, you know, they value the quad one wins since they've gone to the net. It used to be the old, you know, RPI wins and stuff, uh, the non conference strength of schedule, all of those types of things that they reward. Um, in my to my eye. Auburn looked more like a three or the last two, certainly the way they played in Nashville. So I think it was really unfortunate. I don't think they tried to jab them purposely or anything like that, but I think it was a little, a little unfortunate for both parties because there aren't many teams. You know, I sort of extolled the virtues of UConn a couple of moments ago, and I do believe that. I believe they're going to win the national championship again, and I believe they're the best team. Um, but anybody can play a poor game, you know, or a less than a game. And if there's any team out there that would have the ability to, um, you know, to sort of match up and give you kind of hard time, it's Auburn. And, you know, so I think it's unfortunate for both. <laughs> really, to be honest, it's unfortunate that Auburn got put in that bracket uh, in that section of it with UConn. And I also thought that UConn by far got the most difficult draw among the one seeds with having uh, Iowa State and um, and Illinois in there, uh, you know, not to mention some capable teams on down the line, teams like, you know, Drake and even San Diego State and FAU. You know, so I thought they got a – I thought they got a pretty tough draw as well. But I certainly – I don't think it was like the committee hates Auburn, the committee doesn't like Auburn, the committee's going to try to stick it to Auburn. But I, I did think, at least to my eyes in watching this year, that – that I, I would have had them on the three line at least. And, and you know, you could certainly make an argument for them uh, fighting their way toward that last number two. ESPN's Reese Davis with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. You've, you've already tipped off that you like the one and two seed in the Midwest. You like the one seed in the East. So in the South and the West, is there a non-one seed that you say, you know what, I like the way they're playing. I like their draw. The one seed could be in trouble in that bracket. I don't like 
necessarily the way they're playing, but it kind of came down to me in the South, uh, Duke and Kentucky. I don't love the way Duke is playing right now, and yet I still inexplicably have Duke going to the Final Four. <laughs> um, you know, it's, and, and that is more, that's more because of this bracket philosophy. As you guys know, I worked for a number of years with Bob Knight. And one of, uh, one of Bob's mantras that he would always say, he'd go, dumb loses more than smart wins. <laughs> you know, you'll do, you'll, you'll do dumb things to lose way more than you'll do smart things to win. <laughs> Now, that doesn't mean the teams that lose always just do dumb things, but I've sort of applied it to trying to fill out the bracket. Who, who, do, I, who do I find excessive vulnerabilities for? And the, as much as I like Kelvin Sampson and I like Houston and love the passion with which they play, man, that, that having to get garbage time points to get to 41 against Iowa State scared me to death. <laughs> and so I so – I, I sort of got really, I know it's one game and I get that, but I got scared off of Houston there. Uh, Marquette, you don't know about Tyler Kolick, you know, with his oblique injury, is he a hundred percent? And Kentucky, if Kentucky on a whim decides to guard the way it did the night I saw them play Auburn, Kentucky could, Kentucky could run through this whole thing because even as good as I think UConn is, Kentucky's probably better offensively than, than UConn is. So, you know, I like Kentucky and, and Duke out of there. I don't trust Kentucky's defense. So I ended up almost sort of taking a deep breath and saying, okay, I'll put Duke through the final four. Uh, in terms of the, the other one, sort of looking at vulnerabilities, I don't have them going to the final four, but I have New Mexico to the Elite Eight. Now, New Mexico could lose to Clemson in the West for sure. 6-11 game, but that's another bracket and another group where I'm saying – I don't really trust all of these teams, so take a little bit of a flyer. They're at least moving out to the eight out of that part of the bracket in the West. Yeah, sticking in the West, uh, I think anybody that watches college basketball realizes Alabama is taking on water. But, boy, they got a favorable draw. Do you think Alabama – Puts it together yeah. and Let's gets... see what you say about that on Friday. Uh-oh. I'm not sure. Okay. I, I keep hearing that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I believe well, that. Well, let me ask you this, Reese. If if we just and I said this on our selection show Sunday, if you switched the fours from the east to the west and Auburn was Alabama's draw, would you have Auburn possibly in the final four? Um let's see, Auburn out no, because because they'd be in Carolina's group, which I, I would not have them final four. But I would, I certainly agree that it's, uh, it would be more favorable than playing UConn. I, I just, Alabama is better than Charleston, but this smells like upset to me um, because, you know, they're the type of team Charleston can shoot it from three. They shoot it a lot. They've gotten better over the course of the season, sort of put it together. They've got a couple guys who've been around. And sometimes I think it's hard to regain momentum. Alabama has just appeared to be slightly out of sorts. You know, they, they, it's to their credit, man, that they have fought back and won games like the, the Florida game at home, the Arkansas game at home. That is to their credit because most teams without some fight, those are just like, yeah, not our night, not going to work, not happening. So I give them credit for that. But Taking on water is the right terminology, I think. And use, and oftentimes, it seems that teams that are taking on water struggle when they play capable teams uh, that are maybe a little bit off, uh, out, off the, out of the spotlight teams, which I think Charleston has been, although they're well coached and can, you know, they play, they play a lot like Alabama does, as, as Nate Oates has pointed out. So, you know, I, I, think that's a, I think that's a tough matchup, but I think it's probably also true that, you know, given the fact that Alabama, you know, through injury and a lot of other reasons and just maybe a little fatigue, gotten a little out of sorts lately. So maybe just about any draw they would have gotten is a tough one for them. I remember when Andy Kennedy took the UAB job, I texted him and said, dude, I'm disappointed you're leaving broadcasting because I thought you were really, really good. <laughs> working yeah, uh, as, a, as a basketball yes, analyst. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, but he four straight 20-plus wins a year, and he's got UAB in the first year in the American. He's got them back in the NCAA tournament. He's actually a better coach than he is a broadcaster, and he's a damn good broadcaster. 
he's he's a great coach, and I know you guys are you guys are salivating for that UAB Auburn run of thirty two, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, would that would that would that play well in in your hometown? Yeah, 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 yeah. Break yeah. Her heart. Well, I mean, the good news yeah. is we would have a state team right. get into a second weekend. That's right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you you might you might have several if I'm you know if I'm wrong about Alabama if you get the Auburn UAB matchup and if you know if Samford you know. Sanford draws a wounded Kansas team, and then it just takes one more, you know. So you guys, you guys might have your heads on a swivel there by the, the second well, week of the tournament. You know, our state did host two game days this year for basketball. <laughs> That's yeah. right. That's right. That's we right. hosted two game days. We're a basketball state. We're, we're right now. We are planting tobacco down Mercedes <laughs> down to the Mercedes plant. We're going to call that Tobacco Road between Birmingham no, and Tuscaloosa. No, don't uh don't don't rub it in. The ACC's got enough trouble right now. In case you guys noticed that yesterday. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Clemson, so. Dabo, uh, Dabo's down here on on the street corner trying to get an SEC bid downtown Birmingham. <laughs> wants an offer to come join the SEC. Hey, Reese from your network, I learned a double digit seed is advanced to the Sweet 16 and 15 straight tournaments. I don't have a double digit seed in the Sweet 16 i went against the trend is new mexico your team or is it somebody else well it's, it's not the only one in the sweet 16. <laughs> I'm still looking at my bracket. i've got i've got new mexico in the sweet 16 i have a uh, mcneese state in the sweet 16 um i have sorry sorry for bucky ball i've got mcneese taking out sanford in the second round now i'm sort of a chalk eating weasel the rest of the way but uh those are the ones i think uh, I think they're the only ones that I have in the Sweet 16. So I've got um, uh, McNeese, I've got New Mexico, and um, and whoever whoever else. I can't remember who else I just said. If those happen, do you think it. Ricky Patino Jr. and Will Wade are looking at other jobs? <laughs> um, I don't know about. I, I I don't know. It would take. You've got a and Will Wade in a story. If you guys read, I think it was in the Athletic recently. Understands his circumstance and understands that certain uh, only certain schools you know would would be willing to hire him but that guy that guy can coach I mean I mean the proof is in the wins and certainly there are some schools who, who might you know be willing to take on all that goes with that um you know Richard Patino has has been around he's got a he's got a good gig he, Richard's a really good coach and you know he's got a good program in New Mexico and that's a good basketball a school and you know I think he's always an attractive candidate if he wants to be, but he seems to be, uh, you know, he seems to be, he's bounced around a little and he seems to be pretty happy um, in Albuquerque right now. If I would have told you that at Alabama, the buyout for one coach was $18 million and the buyout for another coach was $4 million. <laughs> would you believe that it was the basketball coach that was the 18 million and the football was 4 million? Uh, that, that is a bit of a surprise <laughs> and sort of uh, goes along with what you guys were talking about. But I also think it's a very, wise move because what you what you want to do when you've got a guy that is as good as Nate is and he's excellent you you don't want to make it easy for him you want to show that you want to build around him that you want him to establish the empire and if someday you know he decides to um, leave for whatever might be considered a dream job which you know if you talk to NBA people, probably be an NBA job, something like that. Maybe there's some jobs in college. I don't know. But what you've done is you've made you've made it a, uh, a tiny, tiny, tiny little pool of college jobs. And if a guy wants to go to the NBA, you know, so be it. You know, good good for you. I'm not saying that he is. I've never had that conversation with him about it. But what you've done is you you've shown commitment to him. You've shown commitment to basketball, and you've you've made it extraordinarily difficult for someone just to come in and say, hey, you know, basketball is more important than football at our school. Come here. And, you know, you've given you've given a coach, in this case, Nate, but any coach, you've given him a lot more to think about in, in that regard. And I think that was a very wise move uh, by Alabama to, uh, to keep it going. Is, is that a play at Auburn, too? What's Bruce's buyout? Um, compared to Hugh Freeze, do we know? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. I'll, I'll don't. check that. Yeah. I'll, but I'll check but that. The, same thing, the same thing would apply to Auburn. I mean, and this is a, you know, you guys, you guys understand and you and you've, uh, you know, made made note of how important basketball has become. Think about and it's always been important, but think about the level of coaches in the state of Alabama at the big programs right now with with Nate Oates and Bruce Pearl and Andy Kennedy and, and now Bucky McMillan as, as a rising star. 
and I'm sure you guys know some others at some other schools who I'm sure are great coaches, but those are the uh, for all the time. And now with Sanford making the tournament this year, those are the ones who are on the forefront. And those are those are guys who've done excellent jobs and are just tremendous basketball coaches. All right. As we've interviewed Reese, there's one thing I'm certain about on this tournament. Some game day researcher has a good analytical New Mexico. I saw Andrea Carter with with uh, them in her <laughs> final four and Reese has got did, them. What did she to, did she really? Yeah, yeah, it was on the screen I, I the other day. Know. Yeah. Yeah. She had wow. them in her final four, Reese. Well, I'm going to let me say this about New Mexico. And this is this is the one that will get me knocked around a little bit. I fully understand Clemson can beat them. So part of that is still I've called Clemson games this year, and I've uh, the two times I've seen them in person, they've looked fantastic, you know. And then they'll and then they'll turn around and you know lose at home to Georgia Tech, even though they'll lose at home to NC State before NC State got hot, you know. And they sort of break your heart, you know. I, yeah. I want to love Clemson, I do. You know the team. They've got PJ Hall, they got Ian Shefflin, got Chase Hunter. You know they've got all these guys who can really play, and then they break your heart. So, you know, if, if they win, it's not going to stun me. But if New Mexico wins, I think they, they've got a little bit of a shot in that bracket. Because Arizona Arizona is a great, great team high in the analytics. But, man, they can throw out a stinker, too. There are a lot of, a lot of teams in that section of the bracket that some, somehow just over the course of the season have just, you know, turned in some stinkers. So playing the odds a little bit. Reese, uh, you're very kind with your time. I hope you know how much we appreciate it and very hope you much. enjoy the tournament. All right, you guys too. See you later. All right, thank you. Reese Davis with us on the Johnston RVCenter.com hotline. And the show being brought to you by our friends at Odie's. We'll be out at Odie's actually tomorrow, 4 to 6. We'll be hanging out watching those uh, 4 to 6 games. That will include uh, South Carolina Lazy and Oregon <laughs> and the uh, start of uh, Kentucky and Oakland um, before they move to Las Vegas. Kentucky and Oakland. Where is Oakland? Is it in, it's in uh, Michigan, California? Michigan. Oh, Michigan. No, Oakland, Michigan. 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 California. It's in Michigan, yeah. Oakland, oh. the school that is playing is in Michigan. By the way, that lazy South Carolina team, I had them beating Oregon, but I had to put them in the Sweet 16 because of how lazy you've got them. Because of Jim's And comments. as good as Creighton is and as is, is, is devastated as they were by their, their last-second uh, shot loss to San Diego State in the regional final last year, you have, you have helped me out with the Gamecocks here. No uh, Dan Lanning is not co- coaching these Oregon Ducks. They'll do nothing crazy down the stretch to give the game away. They'll beat, they'll beat South Carolina. We'll be at Odie's, though. Tell them about Odie's. Yeah, Odie's Tavern tonight. It's Wednesday night, Rockstar. That means... Trivia! Odie's Team Trivia will be coming up with a really good trivia question uh, that we will give you guys tomorrow here on the show. But stop by and see us tonight if you've never been before. It's a great time. Very interactive. You get to hear Rockstar play some music. Ice cold beer buckets full of Bud Light. And, of course, Rodney Davis, the incredible food. That's at the original location in Crestline. But the newest location will be at tomorrow. Edgewood right there. Homewood, corner of Oxmoor and Broadway. Get out, see Will Aver and that great staff. It's Odie's Tavern. Hey, and congratulations uh, to the Birmingham Squadron. Nice uh, crowd the season and winding down right now. It's just been a fun year of squadron basketball. Another home game coming up tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, down at Legacy Arena. T-shirt night down there. Uh, you can jump in. Uh, if you're early there, they'll have some nice T-shirts for you. $5 beer in the chill zone all the time. And another game with the Magic, two of the best scorers in the G League. Here's how you get tickets. BirminghamSquadron.com, BirminghamSquadron.com gets you the tickets, or you can buy them at the door, Legacy Arena. I think just two, maybe three more home games left, maybe down to two. So last chance to go see professional basketball here in Birmingham during the regular season, playoffs upcoming uh, in the G League this year. But the Birmingham Squadron back at it tomorrow night. 7 o'clock, Legacy Arena. Be there and enjoy the Birmingham Squadron. When we come back, we get uh, one tick closer to locking in our brackets and unveiling the punishment. we got to set up who's going to tell us about the punishments. Yep. Is it going to be Rockstar? Are we going to get Taylor Corn in here? You wanna, we're to trying to work it? on that right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You all are? Right. My, my, yep. my bracket okay. is in, by the way. Yeah, I'm locked okay. in. I, I had to make one adjustment based on Kansas news, but uh, I'm locked in. I'm going to go recheck mine one more time and then okay. lock mine in before 10 o'clock as well. So somewhere in the 10 o'clock hour, maybe at the top after we do some uh, Kate and Proctor talk, we will uh, find out what our punishments are this year, and then we'll start walking through the brackets, our brackets, once they're locked in here. 
Uh, we'll pull out the dry erase boards and walk through some regions and let people react on how they think their brackets will go. But you've got time to play our bracket challenge so you can have bragging rights forever on this show like Lunsford is doing now that he won ours last year. Just go to nextroundlive.com, nextroundlive.com, nextroundlive bracket challenge powered by my bookie and presented by Champions Chicken right there on Highway 119 in Alabaster, mybookie.ag, where you can play all the games. Next Round Live Bracket Challenge back in a moment. Follow Scott Forrester on Twitter at Scott Forrester TV. You have all heard of Red Wing Shoes, but what is Red Wing Shoes? It's the place where men buy boots, plain and simple. Who are Red Wing's customers? They are construction workers, warehouse employees, college students, the guy that fixes your AC, the guy at the end of the bar, the IT guy. Red Wing is a father, Red Wing is a son, Red Wing is a cult following shared by all men. A classic, comfortable pair of cool boots with a story to tell. What's your Red Wing story? Red Wing Shoe Stores, located in Pelham and Trussville. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus prime beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. Every day, someone is ridiculed and mocked for the clothing they chose to wear. It's a harsh reality we all must face. But you have the chance to change all of that with one visit to nextround.store. For just a few minutes of browsing, you will observe so many clothing options, from hats to hoodies to t-shirts. Please, for yourself or someone you love, go to nextround.store and embrace the warmth of true attire. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, you're in the red zone for every college rivalry and divisional matchup all season long. On game day, you never have to decide which teams to watch, only what combination of bites, burgers, wings, and more to order. Plus, where else are your favorite draft beers always poured at a frozen 29 degrees? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late night bites. Only at Twin Peaks. Things fall apart. There's even a book about it. But that doesn't mean you have to break the bank to fix them. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Our friends at Mortgage Right have a new renovation option that will make repairs and other home improvements easy. If you've recently purchased a home and find yourself short on cash or you're looking to buy a fixer-upper, Mortgage Right's renovation loan program can help you spruce up your space. Repairs can be made to your roof, plumbing, flooring, and more with the help of top-notch mortgage professionals. So get your fix by visiting mortgageright.com TNR and MLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. All right, cut uh, number one, Rockstar. Yesterday, uh, Bruce and the gang had a chance down at Auburn to uh, to do the reverse Tiger Walk before he got on the plane. He had the chance to uh, talk to the media. Um, just an emotional scene where... Um, did y'all see that little kid, Emily Grace McWhorter, shot the video? Fantastic. It, if you missed it, it is on our social media platform. Um, here it is. Uh, there you see Stephen Pearl signing stuff for kids. A little 34 there is just waiting for somebody. And I think it's Aiden, isn't it? Yeah, Forrester? it is Aiden Holloway. Aiden Holloway who will walk up as he's coming out. And, again, this is Emily Grace McWhorter shooting this video. He's waving at Aiden. Aiden leans down. That's really cool. You know, I, I, know watch the reaction, though, is the key. Look yeah. at this kid. I mean, that is for the ages yeah, right there. I wonder if the kid asked for the uh, box of Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Give me that box lunch. Uh, Aiden probably gives it to him. Uh, that kid's an Aiden Holloway fan for life, you know? I mean, yeah. that's what you know about that, right? He'll remember well, that for the rest of his life. I mean, he, I don't know if he knows who Aiden Holloway is. But I think be, I heard him saying Aiden. I think yeah. I heard him calling his name. Uh, Auburn fan for life for sure there, wearing Barkley's jersey. And, uh, you know, I can watch it one more time here. Let it roll. Let it yeah, roll. Yeah, that's really cool, man. Yeah. Just um, the hug. 
And then the reaction. The kid's reaction yeah. is what is the it's, best part, man. It's the money thing. He, Look at he that. loved it. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, here's Bruce Pearl yesterday talking um, with, um, again, the fact that they had to get on a plane on a Tuesday after barely getting back from Nashville to fly all the way to Spokane, uh, Washington. A lot of talk about our seating. I'm fine with our seat. Um, Lep would like for it to be better. Very excited about going to Spokane. Beautiful city. Very excited about going to Gonzaga and seeing that campus. But I'd prefer to go there fishing um, and, and go hang out with Mark Few. I just think about our fans and I just think about our players' parents. And I think about the families that are you know trying to get out there. Uh, the pod system was created so that you didn't have to do this. That's my only complaint. If we win, and if we're fortunate enough to win, if we're blessed to win, if we're lucky enough to win, we don't leave till Monday. Where, where should we go Monday? Boston. Back to Auburn? My advice, so rather than just, just complaining about things, my, my, my advice would be to do a study of where the teams are in the country that are making the tournament. And if there's a preponderance of teams that are in the southern part of the country that are making the tournament or the west or the northeast or the then have more regions, have more pods in those locations. Uh, that, that's a good point, but I would well, ask well, you by guys. By the way, it makes too much sense. Go ahead. It yes. does. But have – because, you know, initially when I saw Auburn's draw, when we were doing that selection show, I was like, this is BS. Like, they got railed. But then you remember last year, have – have anybody, like, has, has Bruce Pearl acknowledged oh, that they did. got the benefit he, last year? He, he absolutely did. Okay. did. He, he did that it. Sunday. Yeah, yeah he Sunday did it night. Sunday. He did it privately. He did it in front of microphones. Okay. I heard him tell, telling people, well, you know, I knew we would pay for last year getting to play a number one seed basically in a because, home. I mean, it does suck, but, I mean, it balances out. Because yeah. don't you remember somebody, some one of the reporters responded, uh, Greg Byrne, you know, didn't do you any favor or something like that, and he said no comment. Now, I will point out, if I'm not mistaken, Greg Byrne was on the committee last year, too, that sent them to Birmingham. Uh, probably so, yes. Yeah, and Mark Newton. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I, Lance, I just, um, I'm with you. I, I, when they built the pod system, like somebody pointed out in the chat room yesterday, to get in in Memphis is $15, or the average ticket, I think, in Memphis is $15. The average ticket in Spokane is like 20 or 25 You could swap some teams around. And they'd be and, hundreds. And it'd be hundreds oh, of dollars. I talked to Steve Susie from ATIX yesterday, yeah. and he was like, not a special ticket in Spokane. And I no. said, if these three teams were in Memphis, and he was like, big. It'd be about like Birmingham. He said, anywhere you can drive, when the fans are able to drive, it's a big ticket. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, you, you just take what? A, uh, at that point, $1,000, $1,200 off the table at that point and makes it a little easier for a family to go to the game. Well, I, I just, who, who is in Memphis right now? Because I really don't pay attention I, I don't to locations. Have it by outside. City. Oh, here we go. All right, give them to uh, me. So Baylor and Arizona. Oh, Arizona Salt Lake. Uh, Baylor is the high seed in Memphis. And uh, where else are we in Memphis? Um, See, that's the problem. Is oh, the, oh we, in Houston. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the. Uh, the, the the old days, okay, if you got stuck in the West, yeah, okay, you go West. You go West. Yeah, and, and that's uh, the way it used to be. Like, ditch the pods. I, well, I think – Yeah, I ditched pods. I, I thought when the pods were created, they just said, hey, we're no longer going to punish teams by sending them a long way away in the first couple of rounds. It was a way that they could make North Carolina a one seed in the West but still reward North Carolina for being a one seed, let them play in Charlotte. Yeah. Now, you got to go to L.A., but you're the one seed, okay? You got the one seed you wanted. You're going to have to go to L.A. for the next two rounds, but we're going to let you play in Charlotte. And then, like, hey, look, Auburn, you're a nine seed. This is last year. Auburn, you're a nine seed. You know, years ago, we had had you playing in, you know, BFE, but we're going to let you play in Birmingham because it's close to home. Iowa, I know it sucks for you, but you didn't have a region nearby that we could send you to. Well, but it did create an unfair advantage for Auburn, advantage Auburn, disadvantage Houston last year. It did. By using the pod system the way I thought it was created. Uh, well, exactly. yeah, and that's why I think you go back. And and, and if the NCAA study, studies this stuff, though, I mean, don't you want an atmosphere like you got in Birmingham? It wasn't fair to Houston, but you want to sell tickets, and you want fans to be able to travel. So I think you've got to redo the way you do like, these first I, two I rounds. I think if you thought Alabama needed punishing as a four seed, Indianapolis would have been a fair punishment to Alabama, yeah. not Spokane. By the way, Jeff is right. 
Uh, Auburn would have to fly the country three times if they're national champions. Well, they'll be happy to do that. Yeah, they will. But it's to Spokane, yeah. to Boston, okay. to Phoenix. Can I bring this up, though? We remember the old uh, 232 model in the NBA where Boston and L.A. were flying back and forth across yeah. the country. These guys aren't going to die. No. <laughs> I hope not. Yes, uh, <laughs> no, but I'm just, it, it is a. Uh, it, it they are not flying on. Uh, they're flying charters. They're not pl- flying on the uh, the in the the NBA style charters. I will tell you that. But but I'm well, just yeah. saying, if you yeah. wanted to punish Alabama, say Alabama, you kind of limped into the tournament. We're not going to really reward you to let you play in Memphis, Indianapolis. Would you know Spokane? Come on, it's at some point you do have to keep the fans in mind. And Alabama, UAB, Auburn, and even Sanford fans, it's a lot easier to get to Salt Lake City. I get it. I saw some friends of mine that were headed out there to support Sanford, and they're fired up about it. I think, I think Auburn and Alabama are at the same hotel. That wouldn't surprise me. I think they were last year, weren't they? Oh, I don't know. Ooh. No, I think wow. they both stayed at the Westin last well, year. Well, I mean, let's think about this. How many hotels are in Spokane? Yeah, yeah really. That's a great point. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great point. that down. Uh, <laughs> I remember when Birmingham didn't have any hotels, and it was when I was living at the Redmont, and uh, a lot of teams were staying either at the Western or the Redmont. Uh, speaking of Redmont, tell us about uh, nothing to do with the Redmont Hotel, Redmont Vodka LT, and we got one more sponsor and one more thing to get to in this segment. It's a locally owned and operated product, fantastic. Charles Barkley, one of the great faces behind it, gluten free, eight times distilled, available in twenty two states. Uh, don't forget about the final poor bracket from our friends at Redmont. Not only uh, the bracket that we're doing here, you can do uh, Redmont's Vodka's bracket as well. But ask for it by name. If they don't have it, tell them to get it. It is Redmont Vodka. AP, um, All-American teams, which brings great value, I believe, the Associated Press, uh, had three SEC teams, uh, SEC players on the All-American teams, one on each team, first, second, and third team. First team All-American, uh, there you see, you know Zach's on there. Dalton Connect of Tennessee, the only SEC player that makes the AP All-American team. First team. Second team, Mark Sears of Alabama is on there. And third team, Janai Broom of Auburn is on there. So each team has an SEC representative right there. So Dalton Mark and Janai all on the AP All-American team yesterday. And I said a couple of months ago that I thought Broom and Sears were playing their way on to like third team. Now Sears ended up going second team. Broom went third team. Can you imagine NIL? We were talking about incentives in the contract yesterday for Kalen DeBoer. But if you got these guys coming over from mid-majors, which both did Broom and Sears, and you're like, if you make one of the three All-American teams, we're going to give you a $250,000 bonus, and it would be well worth it. Yeah, they're both, as you said, started at much smaller schools there. Um, keep in mind now, NBA draft, when all this is said and done, Janai, all of a sudden, every NBA mock draft I see, he's starting to pop up uh, earlier in the second round these days. He'll have a decision to make to come back to Auburn, uh, NIL money there, and continue to have fun at Auburn. Or um, We've seen Janai at times. Such a good when, defender around the When rim. he's able to you know, be one of these post and pop guys and he's able to pull out and hit these perimeter shots, I think – Personally, he should come back and work on that because we saw him getting better at the outside shot this year. And if he fully develops that, you know, he could go from late sec- second to early second because he could be a nice role player in the NBA. Our buddy at Gutter Cap, C. Stu, uh, celebrating a birthday soon. Uh, just a great individual and a great businessman. He came to Birmingham with this plan a few years ago and so many people in the area, so many of our viewers and listeners have capped their gutters one last time they cleaned them out and got them capped, and they haven't had to worry about them. Lifetime warranty. Well, you brought it up. It's C. Stu's birthday today, so happy birthday to C. Stu. Uh, we gave him a birthday Stu. call last night around 10 o'clock, uh, just in case we missed it today, but we're giving him a shout-out right here on the next round. Basketball has its madness in March, but homeowners who clean their gutters have it all year long. Eliminate your gutter cleaning madness forever with Gutter Cap. Call my good friend Chris Stewart, 205-823-2212. A-plus rated with a Better Business Bureau for two decades and on the board of directors. Gutter Cap is a patent aluminum cover system, fits over most existing gutters. Eliminate that dangerous job of getting on a ladder, cleaning out your gutters right now 45% off the retail price for March Madness. 205-823-2212 or guttercapbirmingham.com. Cap it, don't snap it, guttercap. Take the next round anywhere you go with official next round gear. Buy yours today at nextround.store. This hour of the next round is presented by the Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Now featuring seven days of giveaways with your chance to win a share of up to $125,000. The more you visit the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, the more chances you have to win. 
Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, you're in the red zone for every college rivalry and divisional matchup all season long. I mean, where else are the scenic views as good as your view of the game? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. Hey, for all of your IT and printing needs, reach out to our friends at Xerox Business Solutions. Look, I'm still one of those old school guys. I print my notes every single day for the show. If you watch the show here on the next round, you see all the notes in front of me. From day one, Xerox Business Solutions, they've been with us here at the next round. Local for over 45 years. For all of your IT and printing needs, visit XeroxBusinessSolutions.com or call 205-969-3000. That's 205-969-3000. Legacy Credit Union has the ultimate game changer for your finances. With engaged checking, you can earn 3% APY on balances up to $15,000. You heard correctly, 3% APY. But it's not just about scoring with high yields. With engaged checking, you can get paid up to two days early. That means your paycheck, Social Security, tax refund, you name it, you get it early. So stop sitting on the sidelines and get in the game with engaged checking. Sign up today at LegacyCreditUnion.com or visit any nine Greater Birmingham area branches. APY is annual percentage yield. Terms and conditions may apply. See Credit Union for details. Federally insured by the NCUA. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20-year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call. GutterCapBirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205-823-2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. When on YouTube, you constantly hear requests to please like and subscribe. Well, here at Disrupt Media, we aren't going to play that game. Those demands are frankly outdated. So we just want you to hit like or subscribe. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Pick a path, hit like, or hit subscribe. It's your call. We don't care which. Just pick one. Or go to Roll Tide Pods and do it. Or War Damn Pods. Or the Disrupt Media YouTube channel. Or the Meltdown. Just make a decision and stick with it. Like or subscribe, the choice is yours. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. All right, hour number two of the show. We'll hear from Jeff from Aniston, who's about to call in during basketball season Doing in great. a second. So we'll get we'll get to him. We'll reset the headlines right here. Um, the show being brought to you in part by our friends at Way to Wellness, your journey to healthy living. We have a team right now down in, with Leslie and the board certified team swinging by there for their weekly appointment as we speak. Uh, it's real easy to do. You just go onto their website, a planforme.com a plan for me.com and you you do what those folks are doing in the video there you talk to leslie and her board certified team and you learn exactly what way to wellness is about um and how everything's designed specifically for you they'll help you reach your goals you tell them what you want to do and then they'll come up with a plan to help you reach those goals it's different for everyone for me my big concern is always blood pressure and cholesterol as i get older and uh you know if a little weight loss happens that's good for me as well good for maggie too Right. So way to wellness, your journey to healthy living, no contracts, no sign up fees. And your first consultation is absolutely free. The website again is a plan for me.com a plan for me.com. Just running through everything we need to do quickly here. Bracket challenge available to you. You go to next round live.com. And uh, at some point that will close when the games get going and get that locked in bracket challenge powered by our friends at my bookie. And some great prizes, including some stuff from our friends at Champy's Chicken on Highway 119 in Alabaster involved with that. We're at Odie's tomorrow, 4 to 6 in Homewood location. We're at Walk-On's Greystone Friday, for for the most part, throughout the whole day watching the games. And Walk-On's and Odie's great places to go watch all the games throughout the tournament. 
So that's happening tomorrow. And then Brownie, the sale continues until midnight tonight. I, we have a graphic of you trying to play basketball. Yeah, that's it. Merch badness. I, I altered it on my account today. I, saw, I, saw I put that. the crying Jordan emoji yeah, on there because I, I think, thought you made real basketball fans cry with that move to the basket. Uh, that's a pre- I think that's a pretty athletic-looking move. You yeah. can make that the NBA logo right now. Jerry West would be I, okay I, with I it. I can tell you're all in. You are devoted to going to the, uh, to the rack there. Straight there, to the hoop. Yeah, there is no kicking that back out nope. for an open three. Nope, you, you nope. got no left hand. Huh? You got no left. Well, I didn't need it. I was driving down the right, uh, yeah. right side there, Jim. But you can be on the right side of Merch Madness by uh, going to our site right there and uh, uh, next round dot store. And what do you get there? Up until eleven fifty nine, any order you make, we will refund the entire order. You keep the gear, we refund the money. If a one seed upsets a sixteen or a two seed upsets a fifteen, so if a one beats a sixteen or a two beats a fifteen. You get all your money back on anything you spend. There is no minimum order. Go spend it right now. Merch Madness, next round dot store, next round dot store. And can I bring this up Please. again? A 15 seed has won a first round game in three consecutive tournaments. All three have gone to the Sweet 16. So the last three years, and you would have had a 16 last year. And yep. I don't know if you guys have seen this meme going around about the phallic systems that have gone or the phallic symbols that have gone through. St. Peter's, this is in consecutive years. Oral Roberts. Fairly Dickinson, so people are asking if Longwood is the team this year. Oh. I think it's more Moorhead State, but there are some ties here to see if you get a double-digit seed that moves forward. That is interesting. Oh. Yes. What a trend that is. We didn't bring that up with Reese. No, we did not. We did not. Um, now I'm running through to see if there's any more out there to see. Uh, maybe we've got a chance to find one. All right, so that's everything. You need are you to locked know. in? Uh, I'm locked in. We're going to talk to Jeff and Aniston here in this segment right now. He's standing by. I just want to get a quick reaction on Caden Proctor from you guys. Would there be any any part of you that would say, you know, dude, you left us. I don't want you back. Would there ever have been any part of you that thought that way? Well, you're more of the top right hand drawer. Um, I, I do. remember the scenario. Nick Saban retires. He's going back to Iowa. Kalen DeBoer is not even there yet, right? Right. Or, so I don't. Quickly. I don't really. You know, I'm. I, I sympathize with the 19 year old and decisions that they make because I made awful ones when I was 19. And the fact that he hadn't met the staff, maybe he should have hung around for that. But he had an opportunity to go home. He went. He didn't like the culture. He wanted to come back. I. I really don't have a problem with this. Depends on how how well liked you probably are before. Like if. Your teammates didn't like you and you left you want to come back. It's probably a different story. But if he was a well-liked guy, I have no indication that he wasn't. You probably handle it differently. It seems like leaves. he was hanging with some of his guys on spring break when this decision was made, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what the story is. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I just wonder, just wonder if there were any Alabama fans last night that were like, dude, you left, man. And now, now we want, you're going to come back? Come on. If, if Caden Proctor makes that offensive line better and he has – Massive potential. Do you think Alabama fans are really going to say that? No. Nope. Look, if Caleb Downs, and there is a rumor out there that he is going to possibly come back to Alabama getting in the transfer yeah. portal, is there going to be one Alabama nope. fan that you took a Range Rover, you took $2 million? Now, listen, I do not follow college athletes' Instagram pages and things like that, but there, a lot of the speculation was he had wiped all the Ohio State stuff from his Instagram page, no longer follows them, now follows Alabama. Sadly, this morning, me, Forrester, and Dunaway were having the conversations. We're all looking him up. Yeah, and, and I feel like a teenage girl in high school even discussing this, but... Um, the Ohio State people are like, guys, he never had any of that on his bios anyway, so don't read too much into well, that. Well, I find it hard to believe. I mean, if that happens, then we've got a bigger story yeah. because this is Ryan Day and Ohio State all in on a national championship this year. Rusty says college football would, would be in shambles with all this stuff going on. Um, a lot of people were saying that. Josh Pate made a point. He said, uh, and I don't know if he was talking about Caleb Downs or something else, but he said last night on Twitter – this wasn't even the top three of the craziest portal rumors he has heard what's going to happen in the spring. And then he said, college football actually needs these jarring examples of how out of control things are to force action. It'll be better for it long term. Do you believe that sometimes you almost have to shock the system oh, yeah. To, yeah. Get yeah, it, yeah. to get it right? Yeah. yeah. And when you got guys like Nick Saban, uh, you know, speaking before Congress and giving his thoughts on, you know, where college football is at this moment, there have got to be revisions on what's going on. Again, this makes no sense. I never thought the portal would be used like this. 
but it's too confusing, and I don't, I don't know who wins here. Uh, well, not, the, not the coaches uh, and not the fans because you don't know who's going to be on your team. I mean, roster management <laughs> is insane. It's, it's impossible. At yeah. this point, week to week. And that's all. When Kirby talked to Josh Pay, Kirby Smart, who's now at the top of the list of active coaches, uh, all he said was, listen, NIL, and all I want to know is who is on my roster year to year. I you, just need to know who's on my roster. And the sad thing is you really don't know that until the first game. Yeah. I mean, because they could transfer in the spring. They could quit on you in August. I mean, till the till your toe meets leather, leather for that first game against Clemson, Kirby won't fully know that. Urology centers of Alabama helping us stay healthy as we age a little bit, guys. Treating all your urological needs from prostate health to kidney stones. They'll take care of you. It's our friends with UCA, 35 urologists, 16 locations around the state of Alabama. Visit urologycentersalabama.com, urologycentersalabama.com to schedule an appointment today. Jeff is in Anniston. He is uh, next with us today, Rockstar. Jeff, how are you, buddy? Hey, what's up, my young Padawans? Uh, <laughs> I tell you, y'all, y'all shirt deal with Arizona and Purdue being ones and twos, oh, there's yeah. about a 50-50 chance of that happening. We are rolling the dice, my friend. Yeah. Somebody said I read it wrong. Hunter says I read the Merch Madness parameters backwards. Did I read it wrong? If a one beats uh, if a 16 beats a one, I think I did say if a one yeah. beats a 16. If a 16 beats a one or a 15 beats a two, that's yeah. when you get your money back. The official rules are on the website. Yes, yeah, so that's my yeah. fault. My fault. I, I don't know about you, Jeff. I don't have any 15s or 16s winning. I do not either. But, but based on the last three no, years, they are, you know, yeah. there's a good chance one of them wins. To your point, Jeff, uh, you you do have two coaches uh, with Purdue as a one and Tennessee as a two that historically have underachieved in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, Arizona. Year. Yeah, and Arizona. then there's Arizona. Yeah, Correct. Purdue yeah. will beat the winner of tonight's game between Grambling and Montana State by 50 points. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, yeah, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then we've learned, and then we've also learned, that Longwood is a 16. So it, yeah. well, what the LT was just saying. <laughs> Well, you know, every, who doesn't like a good old Roberts, right? You know, um, it, you know, I know it's childish, but uh, I still have to get out where Oral Roberts was phallic. But um, I know it's childish, but whenever I hear Jim say, cut one, rock star, I just love to see Rocky hike his leg up. And let one <laughs> cut one, rock star. I think of a physical knife, something <laughs> a blade. Well, well, what happens when I say cut two, rock star? <laughs> I can't keep cutting them. Snip, snap, snip, snap. That's what you call farts with lungs there. Um, who would you say is your favorite uh, female stand-up comedian of all time? I will go oh, – I'll answer this. Female comedians, not all stand-up. of them. Stand-up. Yes, but female yeah. stand-up comedians tend to go the sexual way about men and go all sex. And why do men do this and everything? There's some female comedians that do not do that, that actually do comedy. She's clean. Ellen DeGeneres, yep. before she was I Ellen, agree. was a great Roseanne stand- was st- funny back in the Still day. is a funny comedian. I know she's not very liked by people right, right. now, but she was a funny general stand up comedian. And then uh, I like Joan Sarah, Rivers, Sarah Silverman. Is I good. never liked Joan Rivers. Wasn't ever. a big Joan Rivers fan. Uh, yeah. Sarah Silverman is good. And then too uh, much for most of y'all, but Phyllis Diller. You know, oh good you know, lord! Wow. Natasha Leguero, based on her. Natasha Leguero, yeah. based on the, uh, the 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 interaction we had with her. Yeah, she, she was did. in studio with us, Natasha Leguero, Leguero, yes. and was very funny, uh, a very nice person. I liked her. Jeff, you just went, you went, Joan Rivers and Phyllis Diller. Yeah, I'm not stop, a thousand. Stop walking towards the light, Jeff. Stay <laughs> with us. Not on my ship. Not on my watch. You, you mentioned B. Arthur. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> She does all the roast rock star. I don't know her name. She's blonde. She's Nikki sort of, Glazer. Nikki, uh, yeah, the kid that she looks like Larry Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She I, does. I love her. She I, takes that well. Yeah. I don't. I've never really watched much of her stand up. She's but. very good at those roasts. She yeah. she cuts those people to shreds. So I like her. I just uh, and wait, one more. There's a there's a church lady, uh, not the church lady, uh, but that was Dana she, Carvey. She, she she's a older woman, but she's clean. Um, and she does a lot of speaks at a lot of churches, I think. Uh, but she does. She's on my TikTok feed all the time. And she was in Birmingham recently. Okay, I can't remember her name. She's a blonde uh, no hair lady, but she's she's real southern. But she's funny too. Okay, all go right. ahead. Right. What do you think's the most amazing record? Uh, the Baggio's fifty six, uh, UCLA ten and twelve, or Oklahoma's forty seven straight? You know, football. Okay, one more time. Oklahoma's forty seven straight. Right, UCLA's 10 championships in 12 years, 
or DiMaggio 56. The only thing I would say about DiMaggio's 56 is Pete Rose. By the way, none of them will ever be broken. Pete Rose got a hit every game for a month and a half and was still two weeks away from tying the record. I mean, just think about that for a minute. And no one's been close to that. No, nowhere close. I would say DiMaggio's is the best chance of happening because what you continue to have is the watering down of pitching. Uh, You know, one hit a night's hard to get, but – I just don't think people are mentally strong enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, and, and hitting is just not what it used to be. I think DiMaggio's never gets anywhere close. I mean, Pete Rose got the 44, I think it was. Yeah, but right. today's, just, today's college football, yeah. 47's impossible, and there is zero. We we can't even get back-to-back national champions uh, in college yeah. basketball. Yeah. We haven't yeah. had that since, what, Florida? Oh, seven, still, yeah. still Florida, yeah. And LT, when you're trying to see if a movie's good, what you do, man, on Rotten Tomatoes, you combine the critics and the audience score. I agree. Divided by two. And then you go to IMDb, and if it's got over two thousand ratings, but below that you can't. Get yeah, it's pictures. not always right. It's not. It's not foolproof. But yeah, I typically agree with the audience and the critic score when they when they both match up. Eighty plus on both, I feel good about the movie. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be good. And Brownie, this time last year, you gave out a fact that was great to me, strange and interesting. Even though I don't think Jim and LT were impressed. But and yeah, I hope y'all didn't talk about this with Reese because I was going to listen to him later. But the national championship team was in the top twelve in Week Six poll every year, I think, since two thousand. That is like correct. That. Yes, that, Connecticut kept it going last year, and I've got this year's top twelve teams from Week Six. And y'all, give me your percentage if you think they repeat one the champions in here. Y'all might already know it, but. Uh, it's Arizona, Kansas, Purdue, Houston, UConn, Baylor, Marquette, Creighton, North Carolina, Gonzaga, Tennessee, and Oklahoma was in it, but of course they can't win. Yep. I uh, think your national champion is in that group. Oh, and it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's 100% yep. since 2004. They've been, in, they've been in the top 12 of the Week 6 AP poll, and I don't know that there's any science behind – it being week you know, six, I don't know what the thought behind that is. Any science behind they, it? They played great teams in the early that's, tournament. That's games the science behind it. it. Yeah, it's, right. it's the teams that have played a quality early schedule and have succeeded against. Well, it. That's the ones the science you behind it didn't mention Kentucky. I don't think you mentioned Iowa State. I don't think Iowa State's yeah. got the offense. I don't think Kentucky's got the defense. You didn't mention Auburn. If Auburn plays like they did in Nashville, they've got a shot. But I would say ninety-seven percent you have got one on your list. That sounds right. That sounds right. Uh, and that, this is kind of random. But I, I thought it was an interesting thing. Uh, did y'all know the Great Snipe has been recorded going over 4,200 miles in three and a half days? That's over 1,100 miles a day. It's like going from Anchorage to Miami in three and a half days. That's what Nick just, Pringle's trying to do right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to get a spoke in. What, what, is, uh, what, is, what is that now? What is it? The, the Great Snipe. Yeah. You've never been snipe hunting, Jimmy? Yeah. I, I, no, it's a real <laughs> – it's a real, obviously it's my, real. My but, dad, my dad and grandfather used to joke about that back in the day. More of my grandfather, and I was like, I, I didn't never fell for it, but I eventually caught on to what it was. But I thought that was pretty wild that you can go that far in three and a half. That days. is quite, that's it's crazy. Wild. Yeah. And we, y'all did it, when y'all start naming the best NFL coaches, and y'all aren't the only ones that do this, but y'all keep y'all zip through several names i never hear chuck no why do you suppose that there's no chuck no ever mentioned i I don't really know it's a great question when you started that sentence i was like he's gonna say chuck no because the other day like jimmy johnson i mean yeah the other day we said belichick andy reed oh you went through seven or eight yeah lombardi (laughs) george mallory did bring up lombardi shula yeah Yeah. we mentioned lombardi shula And we did not get to Chuck Nolan. You're right. All the guy did was win, what, four world championships at Pittsburgh? In six years. In six years. Yeah, four and yeah. six years. Yeah. No, that's pretty crazy. That's top heavy and I, NFL. <laughs> and they, of course. Yeah, them Raiders or Oilers or weren't worth the split. We, we didn't mention Tom Landry either. My grandfather would have disowned me from the family right. for not mentioning Tom Landry. Yeah, I noticed that. Too. So he was a Bama fan? No, he was a Tom Landry fan. People love Landry and Bryant. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And as a Steelers fan, I'm anxious to see which quarterback takes us to 9-8 and eight this year. <laughs> I, let me ask y'all a scenario. Someone kidnaps your dog, and they say they will give it back to you, but they'll kill five healthy young dogs. Or 
they'll kill your dog and give the five healthy young dogs to the best owners in the world. What do you do? I, mean, yeah. I call a meeting with them before, and we, <sighs> we take that said person out. Yep. Lance, Lance always has the loophole when you ask these questions. Yeah. Well, they're keeping the dog at the. Uh, That's a terrible scenario, by the way, Jeff. Thank you. I got uh, two Awful. different people really got mad at me when I asked that question. It's a terrible I question. What kind of mind would ask that? Yeah. But I was just throwing a scenario. It's not a real thing. I'm not going to kidnap your dog. Yeah. Brown would, you, Brown, 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 Brown would tell you to get the hell off his porch. He's trying to watch TV. <laughs> 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 okay. Y'all don't have to answer that, I guess. I mean, yeah, we're, we're not going to answer that one. I thought that was a pretty. But I did be that mad at it. Um, it seemed to me after the Kentucky game, that's the first time I've seen Oaks look defeated. It's like to me, like he uh, he didn't have any answers. He knew this team's just not mentally or physically tough enough, and there ain't really much you can do about it this time of year. Seems to me they're like the Mil- Villanova light when Villanova was good and. Speaking of which, how bad was their hiring of Neptune? And I, I'll resist making a Uranus joke, but that was a lazy hire by Bill. And they really went downhill. Yeah, and they, yeah. they had that program clicking along so well under yeah. Jay Wright. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for Villanova not to be in the field of 64, where they were winning two championships in three years, it makes no but sense. I, Jay Wright was a great coach. But I, don't I, know. I will submit to you, Lance. Jay Wright probably saw what their NIL challenges were going to be, and that's and and that's one reason he tapped out when he did. And didn't want to be a part of it. That's right. Much like Nick Saban has. Yeah. Done. And so, I think it's underrated what he did because Villanova. When you talk about academic standards, they've got high academic standards, and for them to be as good as they were yep. under him was pretty incredible. And the last thing, I think Kentucky, Tennessee, and Auburn have best chances to go deep. Uh, I would love to see Auburn, UConn. That'd be a hell of a game. Uh, I think Florida next. And then I was going to throw all the rest and court in the same boat, maybe Bama towards the bottom. They did get a great draw, but I still – last year at this time I told you all when everybody was picking them number one, including Barkley and Slay, I said their ceiling was the sweet 16. I was going to say sweet the, the 32 this year, but their draw, they might get to the sweet 16, but that'll be as far as they can go. Y'all enjoy the tournament. Love you. Mean it. All right. Thank you, Jay. See you, buddy. Thank you so much. Rump Shaker coming up. Always a great time to remind a friend just how important it is to get checked for colon rectal can- cancer. Rump Shaker brings awareness to that. and. A lot of great community friendships made at this event. Yeah, it's really important. Colon cancer is second leading cause of cancer deaths in America. It affects men and women equally. If you're 45 or older, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, it's treatable, it's beatable. Early detection is the key. RumpShakerInc.org for more information. And remember, this Saturday, the 16th annual Rump Shaker 5K. It's for a great cause at Regents Field. For more information and to get registered, RumpShakerInc.org. Never miss anything Auburn. Watch Village Vice at Wardam Pods on YouTube and listen wherever you get your podcasts. Spring weather is here and our friends at Hemphill Services are offering a $69 HVAC tune-up plus 10% off any service call when you mention the next round. Call Adam, Chad, and the guys at Hemphill Services. Make sure your HVAC unit is ready to keep up with the changing weather. Hemphill Services, locally owned and operated independent train dealer. The team can service all makes and models. For all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. 205-229-2090 or HemphillServices.com. That's 205-229-2090. HempHillServices.com. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus Prime Beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop, rare quality, well done service. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Man, that's a bold question. 
but it's got that irresistible taste to back it up. One thing's for sure, when you've got an irresistible tasty match like zero sugar and zero calories, something sensational is bound to happen. It's too bad you can't taste it with your ears because this Coke Zero Sugar tastes amazing. Truthfully, it's hard to put into words, and that's my job. You'll have to take a taste for yourself. Coke Zero Sugar, best Coke ever. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. <laughs> Emily Grace is uh, covering Alabama's I pro day for us today. <laughs> She's uh, in this every. Uh, it's out of contact. I mean, Terion's vertical is thirty-five five. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Right. Thirty-five five. And what'd you say? I mean, She's not gonna do it. Is she gonna send us every every <laughs> every jump? I, I can't wait to see Kool Aid's forty times. Is she live texting? Kool Aid is Kool Aid is running the forty. This is gonna be tricky because if Kool Aid turns in like a four five eight. Closer to a 4.6 and a 4.4, this is going to be a problem. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think his 40 is what everybody's waiting on. Yeah. yeah. They've there, seen he can cover. There has been some buzz that you you think maybe he has an injury that's being dealt with. No, I think he does. And I forgot, is it a – it's not Liz Frank. It's some kind of compound fracture in the foot, I think. And I think it's one of the reasons he didn't work out in Indianapolis. So he's trying to get that right. and Maybe, maybe he doesn't do something today, have a private – private workout later on but they say he's going to try to run so maybe he's healthier uh yeah i mean he he needs to run our brackets are locked in now we're not gonna make any more changes um i almost changed some stuff after reese but i was like nope i'm gonna stick with what i did last night with the research i did last night and uh you did research i I like it i I like it It at least he's not overthinking it it lazy it is the worst lazy this is the worst potential best bracket i've ever put together yeah i just didn't go crazy on it um no in the past i've played it safe and tried to finish second and this is the first time i've ever tried to win the first time you've ever tried to win? Yeah, I've just always tried to finish second. That's why you've never won, right? That's why I've never won. I've always finished second. See, I think that should be part. punished. I think that, that, that yeah, attitude that is, should be punished. Yeah. That's why I don't, I've don't. i never regretted the fact you had to do the stand Hey, Brownie, Iowa wins 10 games every year by playing it safe. Yeah. Uh, that's all so I was doing. Sucks to watch, that's too. That's all I was doing. I, yep. I was just trying not to be punished. Imagine being an Iowa I can't. Fan. Forster says New Mexico wins the Natty. Now, I cannot believe the love for New Mexico. I, it blows me away. Well, and, if they would have lost on Saturday in Vegas, and I watched it because we had – we went against New Mexico on Sunday, and they're a good team, and the Mountain West is better than advertised – but if they would have lost Saturday in Vegas, they don't even get in the tournament. And now people have got to go to the Final Four. It's crazy how it all happens. It's crazy that Coca-Cola had such a great product back in the early, early or excuse me, late 1800s. And you think, yeah, if they were lazy like South Carolina, they'd just sit on the old Coca-Cola Classic and never come up with anything new. But that's not the way Coca-Cola works. That's, it's not the way America works. America and Coca-Cola, it keeps you getting better and better. And now if you want something new and different, Perfect and in time for summer. How about Coca-Cola spiced right now? Spiced flavors. And then you uh, throw in a little hint of raspberry. It smells like. It tastes like summer. 
by the pool. Today, first official day of spring. I, by you the know, way. I, saw, I heard that yesterday. I'd, I'd lost track. I, I mean, the pollen shows it probably oh, is. Yeah, Nick's no got an idea. Put some rum in it. We've got some rum back there. I'll oh, make you one. My goodness. Oh, oh rum and goodness. Ice Hall, Hallmark's classic? got a new ice maker. They've got the really good pebble ice. Uh, so I, I can run back there, see Luke and the guys. I'll, I'll make I, you one up. I cannot have a Coca Cola Spice and Rum LT because my uh, sorority meeting's not until later tonight. I have one. <laughs> I'll take one of those right to my sorority yeah. meeting, though. Yeah, don't, don't, don't smoke standing up. You'll get a demerit. <laughs> A little Coca-Cola and rum. I haven't had that since college. All right. It's uh, Coca-Cola Spice. Get it at a local retailer uh, right there. It's a wonderful time to try that out uh, this basketball season. All right. Our brackets are locked in. We're going we're gonna to get to those in a little bit here. Rockstar at 11 o'clock is going to tell us our punishment. Uh, there's a little – I said it in the 10 o'clock, but there's a little um, stuff that needs to be put together I didn't know about, so we're going to push that to 11 <laughs> And uh, and then well, we'll that's start. what we had said yesterday was eleven though yeah. they were aiming we for eleven. Said but I wanted to we've ta- said today. We've uh, said yeah, I wanted to talk about the games. You still can, but you guys are okay with us before I'm, we hear I'm, the punishment. I'm not talking changing about anything. The games. Yeah, I'm not, do you I'm not agree? Not to change anything. Yeah. anything. I'm, I'm I'm ready to do. Now, Forrester so, did remind me it's a punishment this morning, so we're not going to like these. Okay. I mean, I don't think we should. Yeah, I've not, not necessarily liked any of mine. I've just, you know, tried to make it best for the audience. Some of them has been more fun than others. So we'll find out our punishments coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. But before that, we'll start talking about the games. Let's pull out the dry erase boards and uh, and walk our which 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 side of the bracket you guys. I say we start the east. Start in the east because everybody's the... going to have UConn winning this thing. What are, are we just doing? Who we got winning the each region? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, kind of boring yeah. if you're just like, oh, well, I mean, God, at so, least so, to so, the, so. I mean, any surprises maybe yeah. to the Sweet 16 and then your regional final and well, your let's final Let's just go four. Sweet 16 on. Okay, okay. fair enough. Um, in the Sweet 16 for me, I've got UConn, Auburn, BYU, Iowa State. Anybody else? Uh, uh, that's, go, exactly, Brown, I've, that's I've exactly what I've got. To, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I've got. We match up in the East. UConn, Auburn, BYU, Iowa State. Uh, I've got UConn, Auburn, Illinois and Washington State. Uh-oh. You're scribbling them in on the hard sheet, but you've got them locked in. Yeah. On, on, okay. Yeah. So I've got UConn, uh, Auburn, Illinois, Washington State. Okay. I've got Auburn beating UConn. I've got UConn in the Final Four. Yeah. I've got UConn beating Washington State in the Elite yeah. Eight. Uh, UConn, UConn over Iowa State. State to the Final Four. I've got Auburn over Iowa State, Auburn in the Final Four. Okay. Let's go to the West. The Pearls hate you. No, they don't. No, they don't. I've got um, the West playing chalky. I've got North Carolina, Alabama, Baylor, and Arizona. Uh, that's exactly what I have. North Carolina, Alabama, Baylor, and Arizona. Wow. Hey, you guys, I thought we were going to have some upsets here. I've got – I just told you I've got Auburn in the final four. Yeah. I've got Auburn beating UConn. Is that an upset? That, that is yeah, an upset, is. yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, North Carolina, Alabama, Clemson, Arizona. Okay. Clemson. Wow, Lance going anti the uh, anti the New Mexico narrative. I've here. got Baylor beating North Carolina to go to the Final Four. I got Baylor in the Final Four. I got four. Arizona beating North Carolina. Yeah, Arizona I got, in my I got Zona mm-hmm. over here, uh, over Carolina. I wanted to put Alabama there. I just I, it's tough to have them win a game and then win two games, but winning three. Whew. Yeah, no. So you've got yeah. UConn and Arizona so far. Uh, I have got UConn and Arizona. Okay, so we match up. Okay, right. I've, got, I've got Auburn and Baylor. Okay. Mm. See what's happening here. Yeah, it's, it's either a winner or a loss. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. That's, all, that's all I'm saying. I, I like where we stand, though. Yeah. yeah. In the South, uh, my sweet 16 is Houston, Duke, Kentucky, and Florida. I've got Houston, Wisconsin, Kentucky, and Marquette. I have got Houston, Wisconsin, Kentucky, Florida. Um, then I have Houston beating Kentucky and Houston in my final four. I got Kentucky beating Wisconsin, Kentucky in my final four. I've got Houston beating Kentucky, Houston in the final four. Okay. Well, we're really close so far. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then in the Midwest, I've got Purdue, Gonzaga, Creighton, and Tennessee. That's exactly what I've got. I have got Purdue, Kansas, South Carolina, Tennessee. I will say I had Kansas losing to Purdue until the news last night. I flipped that to Gonzaga over Kansas. I have Tennessee beating Purdue, and Tennessee is in my final four. I have got Tennessee beating Purdue, and Tennessee is in my final four. So on this side of the bracket, you and I match up. I, I am seeing right now where I'm going to win or lose this thing. It's all and for UConn. Uh, no, for me. For me. Yeah. Well, that's for you. Yeah. For me, where I'm going to win or lose this thing is I have got Creighton coming out of the Midwest. I thought about Creighton, but, you know, South Carolina. I mean, I heard it's all over cocky. uh, Cocky talk? Yeah, cocky talk. They heard this guy in Birmingham talk about they're the laziest team. Lazy, lazy. Not just with one Z. 
lazy. Z, like you're doing a strip club, bunch yeah, of Z's. A bunch of I, Z's. Um, I mean, Creighton is Creighton and Tennessee and Purdue. Those are the three best teams. One, two, and three are the best yeah. teams in that bracket. Scott, I think, is taking a shot at your uh, Final Four being a little SEC heavy. Is that what, what yeah. do you got? <laughs> I've got Auburn, but I know Houston, Dunaway, Tennessee, and Baylor. There's well, no way Dunaway, four. based on his stake bet, has more four or more SEC teams in the Sweet Sixteen. I think I do. Um, I've got I, six I, I in just, the Sweet Sixteen. I, I didn't just, think about it. I just Ooh, think my, he's going full landmine here. Oh, full landmine! I got you. Scotty. I just did analytics here. I've got Kentucky, Florida, Tennessee, Auburn, and Georgia football. <laughs> <laughs> Auburn, Safe Alabama. Bet. I got, I got, what is that? Six. I got six. I got Kentucky, Florida, Tennessee. I got five. Tennessee, Auburn, Alabama. Yeah, Creighton is my make or break. I got him in the national championship game against Arizona. I got Arizona winning the national. Championship. I thought Tennessee was going to be make or break for me, like they were two years ago. But it seems like you got Tennessee going a long way too. You got Arizona winning the national championship over who? Creighton. Who do you have? I've got Houston beating UConn. Houston beating UConn. I've got. Auburn beating Houston. Well, Jimmy Dunaway picking Auburn to win the national championship. Who did you pick to win it last year? <laughs> uh, is it Alabama? I think I had UConn. Jimmy Lamb. Really? Now, yeah. This is where this is where people are going to say Jim's just trying to landmine Auburn. I'm not. I'm trying to win this. Thing. I know. That's where I'm going to say Jim does not want to lose the bracket, and also Jim would never do that to Auburn because of his affinity for the pearls. That's exactly right. This is not a landmine. This is, it comes down to me to Auburn, UConn. I think those. Really? Like, yeah, I think those are two the two best teams. In the whole tournament? In the country, yeah. Do you really? In the country. Wow. I mean, I think Auburn's playing well. I would not say that they're the second best team or yeah. one of the two best teams. Yeah, I, would not I, I, I think they are one of the eight to ten best teams right now in college basketball. If yeah. they won it all, it would not shock me. NC says, Jimmy did it to Braves fans. <laughs> to, to Auburn fans. Too. But Jim... Loves the Pearl family. He would never do this to the Pearl family. And there is punishment. Like, you getting the Braves thing wrong, that was just a That's stake right. bet. That's right. This is worse than losing a stake bet. Yeah. Uh, I, I, just, I, I hope the they don't lose to are. Yale. Because it's going to all come back on you. If, if they lose any game after Yale, I don't think you're getting a lot of heat. But if they were to get upset by the Bulldogs, yeah. whoa. Everybody going to write their Final Four down, put it in front of them? Their national champion? National champion, yeah. Yeah. James Sr. just flicked the channel off. Uh, that ain't my son. You, I, you call your son and tell him I'm never talking to him again. Oh, well, I've never seen my mom have to go take a blood, blood test before. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting that 23 and me done again. <laughs> he doesn't look Indian at all. Uh, we still haven't done that, by the way. We've got to get that done. Uh, it's a lot of things we haven't done, LT. We do need to get that done. Arizona. Arizona. Who you got? Who you got winning it all? Lance? I got it. Uh, Houston. 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 Yeah. Well, that makes me feel better because it was Houston, the one that scared that oh. Reese taught me. It was had me frightened on Houston. Look, Iowa State is elite defensively. In Houston, look, that was that was a bad performance. I mean, they could not score against that Iowa State defense. That but I've me. seen enough of Kelvin Sampson, and once he gets to March, what he's able to do. Jamel Shedd is a complete stud. You saw his first team All American, and they got tough games, though, man. And, you know, I, it could start. With the first draw, if they've got, not Longwood, but, you know, A&M is one of those teams with a really good backcourt that could give them a lot of trouble. And if you get past that, Wisconsin or Duke, I mean, it is a tough, tough oh, draw look, for Houston. My national champion is a super popular 15 over 12 upset. I don't know why Long Beach State literally has fired their coach. Oh, uh, Arizona will draw. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's like, ooh, look out for Long Beach State. I'm like, y'all realize yeah. they were so bad they fired their coach. Yeah. And he uh, begged he begged to stay on through the tournament. I almost had Nevada beating Beating him in round two, Brown. Oh, I almost so had Dayton. I think Dayton's going to play with a little chip on the shoulder. There's so many like really good. What sucks about this is I like Washington State to make this elite eight run, but they're underdogs against Drake in, in round one. Yeah. So like I, I've got some out there that could could be potential problems because if Washington State doesn't do anything, if Clemson doesn't do anything, South Carolina, those are three big ones for me early on. Um, uh, Rick says Jim wants Auburn to like him so bad. Uh, I don't. It's fine. Uh, whether they like me or not. Uh, they seem to like me, though, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Royal, I have Texas A&M beating Houston for the national champ. Oh, no. in, in that part of the No, Se second yeah. round. Yeah. No yeah. way for that. That guy, that guy, he's not a great coach in uh, <laughs> November, December, January, February, but he does something. Who buzz? Yeah, late February, early March. That team plays different. Uh, I don't I just, I don't think they have the weapons to, to do it against Houston. Uh, but then Reese 
was telling me about Iowa State, a game I did not see. You know, the thing um, – They had to fight to get to 41? About Houston is you talk about teams like Alabama and Kentucky with their effort. You're going to get 40 minutes of effort from Houston. Yep. Every oh, yeah. single they play time out. It's just their offense can disappear. And that's what scares me about Houston. It's one reason I did not pick them deep. Oh, I think they were a better team with. last year. Yeah, I agree. With Marcus Sasser. Yeah. But I still think that – you know, they got to say, I just, I'm playing percentages here with UConn every, I don't know what the percentage are, are people that have UConn winning this thing, but back to back, boy, that's tough. Uh, so we don't argue about this. We're all familiar with the point system we're yeah, using, it's right? It's just one, two, three, four, five, one, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. I mean, we're all, it's all even playing uh, field. I agree, but it gets complained about a lot in the uh, end, yeah, primarily one, two, by a guy that's sitting across from me over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I mean, you've you've complained about it before. I just want to make sure everybody knows. Well, I mean, last year it wasn't one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, last year it was two, four, okay. six, so eight. As 10, Lance 12. points out, still the same for everybody. It but was, I just, but I just I, want you, you know, to understand. I, I had a lot of wins in the first round last year. I didn't feel yeah. like I counted the same value as you uh, guys taking flyers. One, two, three, four, five, six is a good good system. Okay, I'm okay with that. All right, so there you go. That's our bracket. That's our picks. We'd love to see yours, and we will if you jump into our bracket challenge brought to you by. Our friends at MyBookie, MyBookie.ag, powered by MyBookie. It's at NextRoundLive.com, NextRoundLive.com. Rockstar in the game will unveil our punishment. You guys don't have a punishment, just a chance to win great prizes from people like Champies on Highway 119 in Alabaster, uh, ChampiesChicken.com for that. Show being brought to you in part by our friend Dr. B today. Yeah, our man, Dr. B, when I started to uh, thin out a little bit, asked around, Dr. Beckenstein is the name everyone said you need to call. Went and saw Dr. B. My hair is more than doubled in thickness. I'm doing that non-invasive 30-minute treatment three times a week on the couch. For more information, t3hair.net, call 205-319-0316. Tell them the next round sent you. Dr. B offering that census transdermal infuser. This enables Dr. B to get various medicines and therapies into the scalp where the hair follicles are without using any injections. This is revolutionary as Dr. B can pinpoint the delivery of a patient's genetically specific products without any needles t3hair.net 205-319-0316 brett says he has kentucky winning it all um james says jim always looking for loopholes rockstar am i the loophole guy up here or is someone else up here the loophole guy well, you got loopholes for everybody there's, yeah there's, i'm a, I'm a loophole guy he's a loophole yeah. guy yeah, yeah, behind the, loophole once we guy. get the punishments out where we'll have to get together and like then do like the logistics of it yeah okay. Okay. like explain i think it's explain. important to find loopholes <laughs> it is. Uh, base is covered. <laughs> NC says if Auburn loses the first game, Jimmy should automatically get both punishments. Ooh. Uh, there. Ooh. Royal I'd... Payne says I went the unthinkable. Purdue. I mean, that Midwest has two coaches, as we mentioned with Reese, Purdue and, and, and Purdue and Painter and Tennessee and Rick Barnes. That I, I was always fearful that was a little T coming in to hit me over the head with a hand. I, I am prepared if you guys wanted to do it. If any of our teams lose in the first round, then we're automatically done. What do you mean any of our teams? Like our Final Four? No. no our champion. No. Our champion? Like no. if Arizona does lose to Long Beach State, yeah, I am Houston out? Houston was to lose to the Longwood Lambs. I mean, you no, pretty I'm much are. No, you pretty much are anyway. My team has the time. I've got a four winning it. You guys oh, have. You made it. that pick. Do you guys have ones and twos winning? Are y'all chalk? Uh, Wait, I can't I, see you guys. You're I've blending got, in with the white wall over yeah, there. I've, I've got, got two ones and two twos. I got Creighton in the national championship game. What are you uh, talking about? They never been to a final four. I got a one. I got a two. I got a three. And I got a four. Oh, aren't you brave? Yeah. Just like Coca-Cola Spice. Is it brave? Brave, brave new flavor right here for the holidays. <laughs> Test it out. Check it out. Enjoy it at your local retailer. <laughs> holidays. Coca-Cola Spice. It's bracket time, Brownie. It's a holiday for me. Is it not for you? Do you not like March? Uh, it is, Jimmy. It starts yeah. tomorrow. It's Coca the first day of spring. Coca-Cola Spice. I'm going to finish this one off in the break here. When we come back, we'll continue a little basketball talk and some football news that continues to trickle in on my phone from Emily Grace over at Pro <laughs> We're Day. We're about to 40. Come with us uh, right here on TNR. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. You could win a Cadillac CT5 or your share of $25,000 in free play and cash at Birmingham Racecourse Casino. The more you visit, the more chances you have to win. Play the latest, most exciting games around with fun bonuses and big jackpots. You can be a winner, too. Come win your share during the Cadillac CT5 and $25,000 giveaway at Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Drawings April 5th and 6th. Located off I-459, exit 31, Derby Parkway. Must be 21 or older, must be present to win. Every day, someone is ridiculed and mocked for the clothing they chose to wear. It's a harsh reality we all must face. But you have the chance to change all of that 
with one visit to nextround.store. For just a few minutes of browsing, you will observe so many clothing options, from hats to hoodies to t-shirts. Please, for yourself or someone you love, go to nextround.store and embrace the warmth of true attire. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus prime beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. Hey, let me tell you about our friends at Urology Centers of Alabama. Compassionate and comprehensive urological care with 35 physicians, 17 locations across Alabama. Their patient-centered approach to all of your urological needs. Remember, they've got that new men's health center. It is beautiful, helping men with a wide range of sensitive male issues in a comfortable environment. You can always go online, visit urologycentersalabama.com, schedule an appointment with one of their many urologists today. Maybe you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, X, LinkedIn, or TikTok while well, we're changing the game yet again. Tyler's Telegrams has been developed exclusively for you. Hi, this is the lovable boy you know as Tyler the Intern. I'm a businessman now. I will come directly to your door and tell you every time a new piece of TNR content drops. For the low, low price of $740,000, you can be notified by me, one of the biggest stars of the next round, about that thing you missed. Sure. The rest of those social media services are free, but so is radio, and we all know how well that's trending. Tyler's Telegrams is currently operating exclusively in Bibb County. Other social media platforms are available everywhere. Be easy on me. I don't understand why Taylor's upset with me. Because... There are people that think you're doing this as a reverse landmine so Auburn will not win the championship. I'm trying to defend you and say you don't want the punishment either. No, this is – I mean, Ken Palm has Auburn where? Uh, five, four, five, four, four or five. Yeah. Four or five. Yeah. Well, right. I mean, he's got him at four. Okay. So got him at four. All right, now, he also UCon- has UConn at one. So UConn's if you're play at that, one. yeah. UConn's at one. Now, if you would take – would you add up – Offensive efficiency and defensive efficiency, what number do you come up with for UConn? Uh, 13. 13. You do it for Auburn. 14. So it's a close game there, isn't it? Well, I mean, if that's the way you go, yeah. Yeah. So I thought it was very close. UConn, as deep as Auburn? Have we had back-to-back champions in a while? No, I don't uh, think UConn wins it, and as I, you know. I, I think here's the – and I think they will play. And I think UConn is going to be listed as a six-and-a-half-point favorite. So, look, and I think the majority of people will play UConn for whatever that's worth. So, I think Auburn can play with them. I think Auburn can beat them. Tell us about Woodhouse Day Spa, and i got to ask a question before we do four downs. Uh, punishment, you guys are asking about that. We're going to announce that in the next hour, next uh, segment, I'm told. Uh, tell us about Woodhouse, and then i got to ask a question about a show tomorrow. It involves what some hotels around the world do, okay? Okay. So, Woodhouse Day Spa has got an incredible special going on right now. So, if you want to hit the sports bars tomorrow – Friday, Saturday, Sunday, treat the girlfriend or wife to the gift of luxury from Birmingham's Best Day Spa. Woodhouse Day Spa, located at the Summit Shopping Centers, right off of Highway 280. Choose from a menu of over 70 options, including massages, body treatment, skin care, waxing, nail services. Woodhouse Day Spa voted America's Best Day Spa since 2009. Order that special person gift online 24-7, birmingham.woodhousespas.com. That's birmingham.woodhousespas.com. Stop in, see Stuart and that great staff located conveniently at the Summit Shopping Centers and tell them the next round sent you. You guys ever stayed at a hotel that uh, skips the 13th floor? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the I, time. I lived on the 13th floor, and they called it the 14th floor. They called it the 14th floor. Um, and I'm still here. <laughs> uh, tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow will be next round show 666. Ooh. And I don't want anybody to die on the show tomorrow or anything bad Not to happen. Tomorrow. Or <laughs> Friday. Oh, it's just an evil yeah, yeah. connotation. Right. I've told you guys before, when my brother graduated from the police academy at, at Birmingham, 
the badge number that had always sat there for like a decade was 666. And they were like, we know you're not going to want this, but this is the next number up. We assume you want 667. He's like, give me 666. Mm. Yeah. So some people embrace it. I think it's weird, but. So um, should we not count that number on the show and just make tomorrow 667? And we never have a 666 I show? wouldn't have known until I would have put it in my ledger. Yeah. I don't think anybody else up here would have known. Well, I print no. my sheets uh, on Sunday nights for the whole week. So tomorrow is 666. So. What, when, do you when, say when, it every when, show? Hey, this is show number well, 663. I well, well, when, then, I printed it, when I printed it out, I was like. Well, don't print it out. How just, are you well, such a shitty student? Like you're doing all this pre-work for Sunday night. Because you get I, up I care at more three about in the, the morning show than I did class. Yeah. Okay, I'm just were asking you, because if you would have put the dedication into schoolwork, you would have been pretty good. Wow, oh, 100. percent Just I'm go ahead really and print good. Fridays at 667, so you don't forget and don't put the number on tomorrow. Oh, I've already got Fridays. I've already printed the 667. Well, then redo it. Yeah. Hey, and it, you it, it, out. it you know, coincides yeah. with brackets too. I know. You're gonna pay me for cardstock. Brownie, the why stuff did you in not? Free, the why, stuff did, free. why did you not? Why did you not think about this before you ask us? Why did you print it before you ask us? I print them on Sunday. I just it's just a number that says J Mo, J Moss J Mos. Unless it's on your forehead, like it was yeah, Damien's. You got a forehead <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so everyone, tomorrow, tomorrow show. Everyone, be careful. Yeah, Friday doesn't matter. But yeah. Tomorrow, <laughs> be careful. Nobody dies. Juggle yeah. knives tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Slice brings us four downs. Uh, before before you say it. Or is it Rockstar today? No, today's Wednesday. No, today's Wednesday. Before you Rockstar say Rockstar will do it on the Devil's Day, we're gonna, 666. We're going to go past 11. I'm not, I'm not, cram- there's no guest yeah. at 11. Lance, you go as long as you want. You go right as here. long as you want. This is not me squeezing, sl- squeezing four downs here. <laughs> well, I mean, the, it, it was earlier today. You were like looking at the clock. So as long as you're cool. Do not with look it, at well, that clock. Do not look at the clock. Uh, at 921, I was looking at the clock because we had Reese Davis at okay. 925. We do not have another guest today. We only have our punishment and trash we have to get to. And it's sometimes we have to be off the platform so the meltdown can start at 2 o'clock. So we have until 2 o'clock Central Time. First down. Brought to you by our friends at Slice. Yeah, four great locations. Soon to be that fifth location in the Homewood. We'll give you more information on the Bajaya Brothers and their incredible local products. Uh, which four seed goes down first? I think this is kind of fascinating when you look around at the fours. You've got Duke. You've got a shorthanded Kansas. You've got Auburn. You've got Alabama. I know Auburn is not going to be your answer, but which one do you guys think goes down well, first? Well, I've got Gonzaga beating Kansas, Wisconsin beating Duke, and then I advanced Alabama and Auburn. So it would be one of those two. I don't know which one will play actually the – Kansas plays on March 21st and Duke and Wisconsin 22nd. Oh, there so you technically go. it would be I Kansas. I would say it would be Kansas losing to Gonzaga. I'm second down. I've got, oh, I've got Sanford yeah. upsetting Kansas. Don't yeah. rush it, right, sir. We yeah. got all They've the time. Already, Dunway's already tapped him. <laughs> I'm saying it, but I don't mean it. Um, <laughs> I've got Sanford upsetting Kansas. I've got Wisconsin beating Duke, and I do have Kansas beating both Sanford, and uh, after that, I've got them beating the Zags. Did you feel good about that before the injury? Because sometimes you're a contrarian, like when people start to think that injury's no, going to beat them up. I, I felt good about Kansas going to the Final Four until the injury. Now oh, I've got them okay. going out in the so Sweet 16. So you're backing it back Yeah, then. but I do yeah. think Duke is your first – four seed that is out yeah second down okay sticking with uh tournament theme here better chance of happening a 15 or a 16 knocks off a top two seed if you're part of merch madness you want that or the sec has a team make it to phoenix i think better chance sec has a team make it to phoenix i don't think you'll get the 15 or 16 win and we want you to go buy all the gear at next round dot store it's a great gamble on your part you got really nothing to lose you get great gear or you get great gear and your money back so uh we've got everything to lose at the deal it was hard for me not to put three sec teams in the final four. was it who was yeah. your third one um you got Ken- you... kentucky and houston came down to kentucky and houston okay. so i think the sec and the big 12 are the two best conferences they are i've got houston and baylor and auburn and Tennessee in the final four, two SEC, two Big 12. I've only got one SECU. Yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, I got the Tennessee. Only one I have, yeah. Third down. Okay, better chance of no one seeds in Phoenix or multiple one seeds. I've got two one seeds. I've got UConn and Houston. I've, I've only got, got one. I've only got the one. Yours is UConn. Correct. Mine's Houston. Um, I would probably say better chance of no one seeds than multiple one seeds. This feels like, and I know we say this every year, but it feels like a very balanced tournament. It feels like a lot of parity in this tournament. 
Like, I don't know that there is a huge difference between ones and fours in this yeah, tournament. I, you know? I got a feeling that Purdue is going to do some stuff. I'm not going to be surprised at all if they get there. Um, I'm going to say, and UNC is the one one that is getting no respect at all, and they might have the easiest draw getting to a Final Four. I'm going to say multiple ones. Multiple ones there. Um, some people are asking, has Houston ever won a national championship? Did they win no. it with five slam no, They lost it, remember, and, to... Uh, and then they lost a very, They lost to NC State in 83, State. and they lost to Georgetown in 84. So yeah, they man. have... It, it, I don't think they've ever won one. They, Maybe. I don't think they have. I'll look it up, but I think those two with five slam is, is I think it's the only time they played for them. Uh, was Hakeem on that flag? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Drexler. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fourth down. They were really good back in the 60s because UCLA played Houston in a national televised game at the Astrodome. Uh, at that time, the largest crowd ever to see a college basketball game. And halftime was uh, Bobby Riggs and no, no. Billy Jean Key. <laughs> Different uh, 83-84, they were the runner-up. It's as close as they've come. They have been to one, two, three, four, five, six Final Fours, including the 2021 was the most recent. I, I, I can't tell you how fast time is going the older I get. But guess who is 61 years old today? 61 years old today. Rockstar, show it. Oh, John, Rockstar's got a photo that's going to blow us away? Kathy Ireland. Are oh, you kidding me? Wow. So she wasn't even on, you know, they they do the Q scores based on celebrity birthdays. And it went like 60 deep today, and she wasn't even on it. Yeah. She's just one of those ones where she owned two or three years. Like, like yeah. 92 through 95 was Kathy Ireland, yeah. and then she just disappeared. Yeah. She was in Unnecessary Roughness. Just disappeared. If I asked you though, who is your top SI model of all time? I know. I, who, I always like Brooklyn, Brooklyn Decker. Decker. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. I you loved like her. I liked Elle McPherson. She was a little on the tall side. Yeah. yeah. Um, who are some other ones that were in the mix? Oh yeah, Elle McPherson. I mean, that's where uh, Verlander's wife, Kate Upton. Kate yeah. Upton. That's where she got her. Kathy star, Ireland's right? mom. Like she uh, was obsessed. Was yeah. where she got hers actually. Uh huh. I think it was Guess and then okay. SI, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I will go with Kathy Ireland, too. I mean, that's hard to beat. Rachel Rachel Hunter. Yeah. 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 Uh, Rachel Hunter. I was never a Rachel she, Hunter fan. She, she was married to Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. Yeah. The only was girl she, that broke his heart. Yeah. Was she the first one that, uh, any guys? On Rod any, Stewart? Any guys break his heart? I think that was a, uh, much like Richard Gere, I think that was Ur- made up. Urban yeah. legend. Um, the old gerbil in the uh, intake. <laughs> who, was she one of the original ones? Uh, SI models? Yeah. I, I'm... In my heyday was the early 90s. I'm just thinking that yeah. was her and Kathy Ireland. So I don't think. I, I think Cheryl remember. Teagues was one of the yeah, early Oh, she was. That's right. She was. Um, I'm going I'm to go Brooklyn Decker. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to waive her for me. Uh, I need to go through them. But I would go L. McPherson just right. And I'd just chop her down a couple inches. Up. You ever falling asleep on a beach topless? It uh, I mean, it happens all, all the time. time yeah. Hey, I'll tell you that. Dirty sand beach. looks dirty. Yeah. Dirty yeah. beach. You yeah. know what I call that? You know what? That's not the goal. It's like an oil spill. She, yeah. She's jellyfishing that. Is what she's doing right there. She's sitting there. Looks like there's some jellyfish behind her. Is that a catamaran that she's yeah. just dreaming about? <laughs> they won't let me out, but one day I will go out. Day yeah. She's, she's two-fisting a cat catamaran. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is Four Downs today, brought to you by the great folks at Slice. Yeah, the Bajaya brothers, created by the late Jeff Bajaya. His legacy continues to be celebrated by his brothers, Jason and Chris. Had an opportunity to hang out with those guys Monday at the newest location, which should be open any day now. We'll give you more information on that. The original in Lakeview, Vestavia, Montevallo, Crestline Park, local pizza, local ingredients, SliceBirmingham.com. You know, you know what today is the 70th anniversary of, by the way? Today is the 70th anniversary of what Hold year would on. 70 be? That would be 54. 1954. I don't have, know if that's going to help you. Uh, 1954 was the... Yeah, it was I'm, the year that Texas Western beat nope, Kentucky. That was yesterday, you, Glory Road. You're close. Was it really? Yeah, yeah, you're very, very close. Today is the 70th anniversary of Milan High School, little Milan High School, beating Muncie Central, 32-30 sure. in the Hoosiers. national in the uh, Indiana Championship game. Little Hoosiers. Yeah, there. the real the real game was 32-30, to 30, yeah. I think was the final. Dunaway had over 62 and a half. <laughs> know, it's bad uh, beat. By the way, tonight, Grambling in Montana State. Montana State, a slight four and a half point favorite there. Uh, and then a really entertaining game, Colorado and Boise. Colorado, a two and a half point favorite there. Um, if Montana State and Colorado get home, I went another uh, parlay at mybookie.ag. <laughs> mybookie.ag. A little four teamer. I was 2 and 0 last night. Can finish that up tonight if I hit the, both of them tonight on the money line. Who do you have tonight? Uh, I have Montana, uh, State, Montana and... State and Colorado. Okay. To win them. Uh, Lance just curious. Just playing the chalk. Just yep. playing the chalk right I've now. I've already got my plays out. Yes. Yeah, Lance'slock.com for the plays. And Michelson Laser Vision. One of the best decision Lance's ever. I mean, it's tight now, the hair or the eyes. But yeah. you can see the hair with the eyes. You know, so. this is the problem the older we get. I'm, and shout out to uh, 
to my man last night, uh, Kevin, big NC State fan up, at, at uh, Hoover Country Club. I was talking to him, and he was telling me about his vision. And, you know, Kevin's probably in his 60s now, but he has low blood, blood pressure, so he's lost majority of vision in his left eye, and then it happened in his right eye earlier this year. Dude because was a of sc- low, bro- blo- low blood pressure? Low blo- blood pressure, yeah. Oh. It led to him losing pretty much all of his vision, but he's still a 10 handicap. He was a scratch before. Well, how about that? He is a 10 handicap still. Anyway, eyesight so important. If you're getting that tax refund from Uncle Sam, use it on something that is important like this. Uh, it seems like everybody is going up in price, not for LASIK and Michelson Laser Vision. Dr. Jennifer and Mark Michelson have held the cost at LASIK steady at the pre-inflation pricing from two years ago. Call 205-969-8100. Tell them the next round sent you. They're going to hook you up with a hassle-free consultation, zero to lose, to find out if LASIK is right for you. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. For more information, michelsonlaservision.com. Follow LT on Twitter at Taylor. Man, I love a good meal. I'm Jim Dunaway. A good meal is what you get with my friend Sterling at Champy's Chicken on Highway 119 in Alabaster. We're talking great southern fried chicken, wonderful sides, hand-cut chicken fingers, poor boys, and those Mississippi Delta recipe tamales. You've got a perfect menu for everybody. Champy's Chicken is perfect for watching the big game or taking a meal to the lake house, down to the coast, or stay in the restaurant and dine in in a great atmosphere. It's all made fresh to order right there on 119 in Alabaster, Champy's Chicken. This hour of the next round is presented by the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, now featuring seven days of giveaways with your chance to win a share of up to $125,000. The more you visit the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, the more chances you have to win. It's time to pull the trigger on the Next Round merch that you've been eyeing. We know there's a lot to choose from at nextround.store, so here's a few of our favorite picks. If you want to match LT and Brown, go with a TNR logo hoodie and throw in one of Dunaway's favorite hats. Any of them will do. The backrooms go to is the classic logo t-shirt, while my personal favorite is the light blue TNR crew neck. All of these items can be found at nextround.store and are EG approved. Rest assured, your order will be packed with lots of love from us here at the next round. Head over to nextround.store to start filling up your cart. The wait is over. Tonali has arrived. Beautifully distinctive Italian styling and performance. Come test drive the all-new 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonali plug-in hybrid at Alfa Romeo of Birmingham. The all-new Tonali offers best-in-class horsepower and torque. Fastest 0 to 60 times in its class. Plus best-in-class range with full electric charge. And best of all, qualified Tonali leasees are eligible for up to $7,500 EV tax credit factored into your lease. Hurry down to Alfa Romeo of Birmingham and experience the all-new Tonali. It's that time of year again. The Legacy Swap and Drop promotion is back. It's bigger than ever. Swap your current auto loan or RV loan to Legacy and drop your interest rate and monthly payment. Don't miss out on this opportunity to save big with our friends at Legacy Credit Union. Not a member yet? That's okay. You too can save by becoming a member today. Head over to SwapAndDrop.com. Apply in minutes. That's SwapAndDrop.com. Or visit one of their nine greater Birmingham area branches. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions may apply. See Credit Union for details. Federally insured by the NCAA. You have all heard of Red Wing Shoes, but what is Red Wing Shoes? It's the place where men buy boots, plain and simple. Who are Red Wing's customers? They are construction workers, warehouse employees, college students, the guy that fixes your AC, the guy at the end of the bar, the IT guy. Red Wing is a father, Red Wing is a son, Red Wing is a cult following shared by all men. A classic comfortable pair of cool boots with a story to tell. What's your Red Wing story? Red Wing Shoe Stores, located in Pelham and Trussville. Hang out with the next round on the go. Whether you're driving to work, running errands, sitting on the beach, or you just need a break from the real world, we can keep you company. Check out the next round, Mystery Fifth Hour, and our other shows on your favorite podcast app. We'll meet you there. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, The next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Okay, we've unveiled our brackets. Um, Brown's already I just fell. Is that a bad sign? Yeah, not a good sign. Arizona, I'll get it. I'll get it. You Uh, tell them about Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken, Jim. It is that hour, Brownie. 11.07 as we start the final hour of the show today, brought to you by our friends at Champy's. It was not passive-aggressive. I know a lot of you think I'm passive aggressive all the time. That was intentional that it's 1107 Central Time right here. <laughs> and we're starting the final hour of the show on championschicken.com hour. 
Highway 119 in Alabaster. I'm looking forward to tomorrow because I'm being told by a little bird, do we got Champions Chicken coming up tomorrow? For the first round? Yeah, man, Sterling is going to bring us a full spread Mm. tomorrow. Really Mm. looking forward to that. He's going to come up. He wants to watch some hoops with us, drink some cold beer, some cold Bud Light, some of that great Champions Mm. World famous fried chicken. I've got a feeling some tamales might be in one of those side carts. But when Sterling does it, he does it right. You guys know the coolers that will roll through the doors here. Um, Looking forward to that, though. Mm, mm, mm-mm. It's just such good food there. Highway 119 uh, in Alabaster. All right. A couple of things before uh, we turn the show over to Rockstar at some point here, and he's going to tell us our punishment. Does it involve just you, Rockstar? Is there a fleet of people coming in? Are there, are there, ski- are there skits? Is yeah, there music? Yeah, we got a lot of props. There's a lot of guests. There's like a, the... Uh, we have confetti. It's supposed to be ready done. to go. Yeah, yes. I just didn't want. Oh, yeah, no, what was, was that? Turn to Chelsea. The turn eight ten. Yeah, the ATM fired off the confetti in the first half. Mr. Womack, of Mark Womack, S- yeah, yeah, the SEC. Um, sitting next to him, row two during the SEC championship game, and he uh, he leaned over. Have you seen what happened at the A ten tournament moments ago? And I said, I have not. And on his phone, he showed me what happened. And I was like, oh, my goodness. How much yeah. time is left? He said, oh, about 18 minutes. Yes. And he said, instantly, I'm now nervous about ours going <laughs> off. <laughs> I know. Who's, who's in control of the button? Well, I thought it was going to be a jinx for Duquesne. I thought VCU would. Oh, yeah. It, it, you know, they stop play for a little bit. But Duquesne, they, much like what we saw with NC State and the ACC, they were possessed. Yeah. Uh, do you guys agree with Landmine Believer that uh, Probably tomorrow not. and Friday? Best two days of the year when it comes to sports. I mean, there well, is, there's something to be said I've about I've always it. said this tournament gets worse as it goes because yeah. these first two days are the it's, best part of this tournament. Yeah, and look, there's no productivity in the workplace. I mean, and bosses and companies just have to realize that. But I think it's pretty awesome. Everybody's doing brackets. So many people cut out of work early. And there's just that special buzz in the air. We've got spring here. So I don't necessarily disagree. I don't know if I agree 100%, but it's really close. Yeah. Uh, I don't know which which woman in my life I've got to answer more to. Maggie has now texted me and said that I, I don't have Duke. She goes to Duke and I don't have oh, her in the wow. Final Four. Yeah. I don't know if she's more upset about me not having Duke in the Final Four or Taylor upset with me of having Alabama, has, uh, excuse me, Auburn winning the national championship. Has Maggie threatened to kill you? Uh, she has not. Okay. Has Taylor? I think I know the answer. Oh, I don't know. I was kidding. <laughs> oh. I don't think- Taylor's technically threatening to kill you. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dismissing the possibility. Well, tomorrow is 666. I know. <laughs> yeah. Nobody was going to die that day, right? Yeah. So we've she keeps going it. like, hey, Thursday's coming up. And she's like, keeps smiling. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> if she is going to do it, right? let's do it tomorrow. So we can, we can always remember that day. We all know which what, show no, it what was. What show was it, Jim Dunn? <laughs> Uh, that, NC's Taylor, right. that Taylor put a knife in Lance's, Dunaway. Lance's Fordell's question. Ten years ago today, that Jim got killed by Taylor. Oh. oh, by the way, speaking of knifing somebody, so Jack reached out to me and he's like, I've got to do a uh, political slogan. I've got to run as Brutus <laughs> for president. Oh, you God. want to hear my slogan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I got one. Go ahead. Taking Caesar off the menu. A, cu- <laughs> a cut above. A cut above. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, Bruce, I like that nice one. to meet you. Yeah. I like good. that one. I like that one. Very creative. Uh, I got to give Maddie credit for taking Caesar off the menu, but I came up with a cut above. So we, uh, we did the combination, and uh, I don't know how it's going to play in high school with uh, the little violent angle, but they're uh, studying about the assassination, and there was anyone, it was much like Rockstar's nanny who got shot, or housekeeper, 27 times, or was it 37. 27. 27. Open casket? There's, yeah, there's, open casket. It's, it's between like 23 stab wounds and like 50, so nobody yeah. knows the exact number. You could have gone off A2 somebody, you know, A2 Hillary or A2 Biden or A2 Putin. Yeah. Could have gone either. Those things are tougher than you think, oh, coming yeah, up with that yeah. political yeah. slogan. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, I think K. Ivy sure ever runs again. The best slogan is every vote begins with K. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's sort of funny. If Taylor were to kill me that is uh-huh. tomorrow— um, after picking Auburn to win the national championship, and y'all did a 10-year reflection on that in four downs 10 years later, there's a chance she would have been out of jail by then. That's true. Yeah. Look oh. who's back on the show. <laughs> Algorithm. Taylor, Taylor's back. <laughs> Algorithm of the morning, there was a mother. Her 7-year-old was killed by this butcher, and he had already like uh, sexually assaulted two people before. She Your goes God, in court Lance. at 1981 and unloads a clip on the guy. And guess how long she did in prison? Hey, uh, uh, to, to Jim's America. 18 months. She ended up, she got sentenced to six years. She did three. If I'm on the jury, she doesn't do a day. Yeah, yeah. But she only did three for, I mean, she put seven in him. Yeah, that's my point. You know, a, a jury of 
of Taylor's peers would have been some Auburn fans. That's right. They were Chances saying, are she would have got time served of working with me already for two years. Right. Yeah, but you've also Oh my got, God, she had to go to the SEC tournament with him? <laughs> if I'm your Tommy Spina, I'm making sure that jury is balanced and we got a lot of Alabama flavor. <laughs> yeah, please, if you sent Taylor to Aliceville Prison, uh, she would get tired of answering brown questions. When she, hey, that would be her living well, I mean, That's how she could get perks. Hey, so you, you worked with him. You she worked could, with him. Uh, before she goes in, she takes a eight, bunch of eight by ten signed by Brown. <laughs> some of Brown's boxers. Yeah. I mean, she would t-shirts he tried on up here yeah. for her photo shoots. His cologne of yeah, choice. I don't wear cologne. Yeah. I know that, but I'm just they do have a special <laughs> friendship. It's awesome. All right, uh, she doesn't like me though. That's a hundred percent for sure. Well, I mean, you picked your landmine and her team. Not intentionally. I am picking them to win the national championship. Uh, punishment time right after. Uh, LT tells us about our friends at Hemp Hill Services, Hemp Hill Services. Yeah, make the phone call today. This weather is just all over the place. It's affecting a lot of allergies out there. Make sure that unit is ready to keep up with the changing weather. 205-229-2090. Whether you experience plumbing, heating, or cooling issues in your home or business, they are ready to serve you. Call Adam, Chad, Andrew, the guys there. 205-229-2090. Trust the name Birmingham is trusted since 1954 for all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. For more information, HempHillServices.com. Just around the back back room, all right? Rockstar, Forrester, Tyler, Lunsford. Um, give everybody their microphones. Uh, can I? Who thinks of the three of us? Who ends up losing this bracket? Uh, let's go Final Fours again. If people are just there, rounds the betting my, favorite. My fa- my Final Four is Auburn and Baylor. Auburn beating them. Uh, Houston and Tennessee. Houston beating them, and then Auburn beating Houston to be national champions. So. Uh, UConn, Arizona. UConn beating Zona. Houston, Tennessee. Houston beating Tennessee. Houston beating UConn. I've got UConn and Arizona. Arizona wins that game. I've got Creighton and Kentucky. Creighton wins that game. Arizona beats Creighton. Okay. Brown. So, uh, Forrester? Brown. Okay. I like Brown's final four the least. Yeah, there you go. It's <laughs> a good setup. But, <laughs> I thought he was going to say the most. <laughs> but Jim picked Auburn. And now Auburn's going to lose early. Yeah, you so know that's what that is not thinks. the case. That's what everybody that thinks, though, Jim. Yeah. I think the breakdown has been – I think we've done 13 of these, I think. Yeah. I think Brown has lost eight. Oh, I think is it he, not more than that? You sure? I think I think you've lost two, right? Two, yeah. And I've lost two. Yep. So maybe Brown's lost nine if we've yeah. done 13. Yeah, I, I think, think that's I think it is. Yeah, nine, right. two, and two. Nine, two, and two. Yeah. Uh, and my, one of my twos was second place, right? Yeah, Jim like – Or no, Tied for first. Tied for first, technically. lost the tiebreaker. Yeah. So I've lost two and then finished second one other time. Yeah. I don't I don't know the other yeah. second finishes. I, I've never that was the it. only one we had the the challenge for a second place. I have never, ever, ever won it. Um, you've never won this? Nope. Oh, I've never been in first. Incredible. I've only been in second and last. Now we'll see what happens. Everything's wide open this year. So yeah, I agree. We'll see what happens. Rockstar punishment time. You coming in here, you're gonna stay in there. Uh, no I skit. had to get in the car. This is the whole thing. <laughs> no, we're going to go in order. We're going to go. We'll, first, we'll do the second place first, but we're going to go Jim, Lance, and Ryan. Okay. So there this, is a second place. Okay. I don't think this is. We didn't think this is brutal or everything. There should be. <laughs> it's not brutal. It's brutal. not like everybody thinks like we're going to. We're out to like just destroy you guys and humiliate you. It's not like that. So we decided second place for anybody. Yes, whoever okay. comes in second okay. place in between you three has to hand deliver. One order from the next round store. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's, would, that's good for the I would audience. Love to do yeah, that. we get some, to pick that. We're not going to go like, hey, there's a, a delivery in Alaska. You got to no. drive to Alaska, but you're going to have to hand deliver. Yeah, that that's or, cool. If it's in Georgia, Macon, yeah. Georgia, you have to take that trip. Of course, content of you meeting that person, yeah. come to the door. And we're not going to tell them, right? No, yeah, well, okay. it's going to be random. It's going to be uh, what yes. was uh, who was the sidekick for Johnny Carson that did the uh, p- Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon. Clear, clearing clearinghouse. Well, what we'll if take they're not at home? Bit. What if they're not at home? We'll, I, I, we'll let's we'll, do it. We'll, we'll have the to logistics. But can okay. you agree that that is yeah. not an no? I think that's actually no, really, really good. Right. In, in fact, so we probably, as a company, a small business. I think we should actually do that occasionally <laughs> anyway. Yes. Every now and then, I think we should get on there and hand deliver. Very right. efficient. How bad would Jim bitch when it was his turn? Yeah. Oh, of course you guys send me to Minnesota. No, that's okay, no, 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 we, we're, we're not. We're not. We're, this is going to be local delivery, right? Well, oh, he we said making Georgia drivable. I mean, yeah, drivable. drivable. We're not, not going to send you to Michigan or whatever, yeah. but it has to be something. We're not also going to send you to Hoover. I mean, yeah. we got to yeah. do something. Oh, okay, different. so it's not just over to Mountain Brook. Yeah, yeah. No, I think drivable. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's a really good. I don't know who came up with that. That's yeah. a really good idea. Thank I like you. that. And it's good for I the uh, good for the audience. I will tell you. Okay, it is not painful. So no, it is not painful. That's a good. That's good for us. Good for the audience. Pritchell says somebody in Nebraska is. 
going to order just a koozie. You know what I think? That's going to suck. I think they have softened the blow, one second place punishment yep. that's not a big yep. deal. Like, oh, that's good. We'll yeah. be good content, and I think they're about to step it up. Hey, so what are we, what, like, within a four-hour drive or something? Is we'll, that the, we'll discuss parameters okay. with okay. everything. We're just going to do the, the general stuff because I know everybody's going parameters. Yeah. All right, Jim's first. This is Jim's punishment yes. if he loses. Tyler's going to give you something, Jim. Oh, boy. Tyler gives Jim a basketball. What do you think about that? Uh, <laughs> that's about the size. Does he have to blow something? <laughs> yes. Oh, damn. If we got that was the second. <laughs> that was my option for second place. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Jim, you have to hit three, a three-pointer from five different Division One gyms. Oh, I like this. On the same day. With this ball? No, or just with that. You okay. have to okay. somehow. With this ball, it's going to be hard. Yes. In the same day, five Division One gyms. Okay, so oh, yeah, you got this. And you got a plan. Well, we'll go over the plan. Like, you can tell us your plan and everything, but it's yeah. got to be done in one day. Okay. And the access to the gyms is we're going to have a little parameter where you can't, like, call somebody ahead of time. Like, you have to get into that gym. You can't be like, hey, is it okay if I. Like, we can't tell AK, hey, no. I'm coming by tomorrow. No, we got oh, somehow got to sneak into uh, the gym. I like that. Uh, you get, uh, that's, that's the better part of it. social awkwardness. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that's why not me making the shot. Don't it's have just... a problem with breaking in a gym. Your problem's going to be, like, if you decide to go the route of five. In Alabama, if Tuscaloosa or Auburn is one of your destinations and you can't get in that building, you have completely wasted three, four hours. Yeah. yeah. Because it's Division One. So the company pays me to go to Philadelphia, and I just do what? – what is that five-school thing called there? The, uh, the oh, Boston's they call got a lot too. Yeah. yeah. New York's got a few. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm – Probably you're going to have an easier time getting off a trespassing rap in the state of Alabama. I just don't – so. I don't know how many gyms are open. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Well, Dukes is always open. So if he – well, you can go visit Mags. And then you got NC State's right there nearby, North Carolina's yeah. right there nearby, Wake, yeah, Tobacco, Tobacco Road. Road. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. But they're not going to know who I am. That – well, yeah. So – but let's just say, like, Jim gets tripped up on the fifth one and he only gets four, that he's just got to start over another day? Is that the way that rolls? Well, I, I, I don't have to make my only shot in the gym. I can shoot multiple shots, yeah, though, right? You got well, that's what I'm saying. No, it resets the next day. <laughs> it, could be, it could be the first shot. It could be the 40th. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Okay, that's All not right. bad. That's not but bad. But he has to start from zero the next day if he can only get four, yeah. right? It's not bad. Okay. Thank, Tyler, thanks, you... thanks to the fighting pearls, I'm not going to have to worry about it. Yep. Well, no, you can't make calls, can you? No. No, no, no just he's saying, saying they're going to win it. They're going to win it. That's oh. going to be the irony oh, is oh, if, gotcha. if Auburn cost him the bracket and then he's he got to get, get in Auburn's gym. <laughs> or he can't get into yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, that one scares me because I don't know if you're going to be able to get in five in a day. Who's going to go around and document that I that We'll did have to this? talk about We're that. We're going to discuss. Yeah. get That's, parameters. Because I, I know who the hell is not coming with me now. It's Taylor. <laughs> I mean, if you lose because of Auburn, the gym's not going to get to the first gym. It's going to be dead in a ditch. Yeah, G. Kerbo says Auburn's gym is always open. I think Coleman's typically open, but I'm not Does positive. It, uh, uh, yeah. Again. <laughs> and they have matches laying by the door asking you to strike them. Yeah, Jim, I cannot see the goal. I mean, they're in the middle of practice or shoot around, and you got done away. Okay. Oh, by the way, these punishments, we're all going to address you. Not going to be over the top, but we're going to dress okay. you. Hey, by the way, real quick, on Jim. Now we're going to dress me? It's yeah. got to be the active gym. All three. Like, Jim can't go to Beard Eves. It's got to be Neville Arena if he does Auburn, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, the only problem yeah. with the dressing is you're going to stand out, which yeah. is a better chance of getting red flag before you actually get That's the right. shot yeah. off. Yeah. It's is gonna... Jim Dunaway? Like uh, the uh, – not in New York, he's not like the like the old like the old student with a backpack wasn't going to stand out anyway. We will. I wasn't going to blend in like uh, Twenty One Jump Street. If if you get um, <laughs> arrested for anyway. trespassing, uh-huh. we will uh, we'll bail you out. Yep. Okay. That's part of the deal. I think Brody's probably got a good rotation for you right there. If you want to commit that one to memory. And if I if I get no somewhere, I can jump up to Belmont and Lipscomb. Yeah. It doesn't have to be in one state. Yeah. Andy. Okay. Yep. You ready for number oh, two? Oh, yeah. Nashville's a pretty good one, too. Yeah. Lance is number two. Lance, you. Wait, you, before you throw mine out. How nervous are you right now about saying this? <laughs> uh, we'll see. No, but before you throw it out, these are supposed to be, like, customized for us. Now, yes. I'm wondering why, how Dunaway had a basketball theme. Because be- I'm so socially awkward because to go. I don't, I don't break rules. Dunaway would freak rules. about having to go into the oh, He I would be you. the one that was most stressed out okay. about yeah. I don't, not I'm already asking nervous. for permission. Yeah, I was, just just, I was wondering what the thought process behind it was. It makes sense. Yeah. Lance, you must attend both A-Day games, stay for the whole game in the stadium, <laughs> and receive one autograph from a player and or a coach on the field. <laughs> oh, no. 
Alabama <laughs> is April 13th. Auburn is April 6th. So the 6th and the 13th. Well, that's a quick turnaround, too. We will – the national champion will be crowned – That Monday. That Monday, yeah. Yeah, I am uh, – the only thing is I might – we might be somewhere one of those weekends. I don't, I don't think we're there until the 27th. Yeah, Jim had okay. that date. I wasn't aware. I will of that. do everything I can. I will check the calendar. I'm in. Stay in the whole game is the best part of this. That's yeah, that's bad. What? What? I mean, he doesn't that, even stay the whole day for and real then go games. Field to get an autograph. Hey, yeah. can't make. Can I have your autograph? Yes. <laughs> Just some a coach or a player. So, what are the dates again? April sixth and the thirteenth. Okay, that is so good. That is. I mean, would you guys tailor these towards people? You nailed Lance's. The guy, he's, he's left national championship games. He's left Super Bowls early. Well, eight-day games aren't boring, he, are they? He's got to stay for an eight-day game. Wait, so are we sure? What, what day is national championship? Uh, April he 8th. He says the Monday before. It's, the Monday before, it's a quick uh, turnaround if you lose it. Yeah. No, it's April 8th is the national championship. Oh, I thought it was April. It's April Monday, 8th. First Monday. Yeah, I think. That, which one is the sixth? Uh, that would be Auburn. So Auburn will have already played theirs? Yes, so. Can we make all right? Can now, we do, now? Typically, it doesn't go down to the final four. Right? Somebody's done before, so this thing could be done before. Yeah, and it doesn't right, matter. But, but if it's not, he has to do the Alabama one, and then yeah. can we come up with a replacement, or can he just pick one from what's, the SEC? What's the one with the uh, where they run to get autographs? Well, that's, that's Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. yeah, I but don't I know think if they quit do doing that. Having yeah. you run on the field, oh, that'd be so great. <laughs> uh, the GoPro. We, I, w- I guess we can uh, send him uh, UAB as a. A sort of a spring game. It's a it's not really game. Hey, you guys practice. pick a Mississippi school. Oh, I was going to look okay. up real quick, right. Rockstar, before you continue. Saturday. Oh, Vanderbilt spring game, I'm sure, is exciting. Alabama's I mean, is the 13th. The 20th is State A&M in South Carolina, so you could go to States. Yeah, Mississippi on the 20th. State. Back-to-back weekends. Yeah, it's about the same distance yeah. driving yep. to Auburn. Where, wherever yeah. you guys want to send right, me so on so stay. Okay. Can we substitute for State? Is yeah, everybody okay with that? Well, if there's a scheduling clump, we got to yeah. go around Okay, it. so we either do Auburn if it's decided or State if it's not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And for Brown... We have a, a special guest. If somebody could, uh, do you guys love people that support the show? I do love I people. I did that see support. somebody that, walk that by. Support the brand. Yeah. Yes, 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 absolutely. And often comes up here. If this person would come in, uh, here he comes. Yeah. yeah. Oftentimes, okay. I call him number fourteen these days. Yeah. Right. Okay. Everybody meet Ush. Uh, uh, this yeah, is we Ush. Know Ush. Yeah, a big fan of the show. Swings by occasionally. He's uh, he visits the store for Merch yeah, Madness. Yeah, yeah, as you could tell. Always he wears got a lid on. Did you buy something for Merch Madness? You get your money back. Yes. Yeah, it's right. good. Smart. Hey, you can have my mic. Yeah, use the microphone. Go ahead. I don't think I need one. But. For Brown's pun- for Brown's punishment. <laughs> uh huh. Brown has to be handcuffed to Ush for 24 hours and spend the night in this building. I with, mean, with Cam- got, by far I the worst. Far the <laughs> no, worst. <laughs> I am going to say Dunaway in one of his kinky days might have been handcuffed. We're, I have been handcuffed before. It ain't comfortable. No, my, You're going to hate this too. My, yeah. Mine were always fuzzy, fuzzy handcuffs. Because they're comfortable. They didn't hurt. Well, I mean, no, so we're, do, we're doing you, legit handcuffs, so right? Well, gonna, there's, there's it, a handcuff where I think like the the, the, the distance of the chain is like this much. Yeah. It's not like a real like where you're like touching each other. Yeah, so, like a spoon. So at this yeah. point, though, we'll have That's cameras terrible. running. We'll broadcast oh, yeah. that live. Yeah. Okay. This is by far the absolute I mean, worst punishment. How did I land this? That's brutal. I, yeah. I think it's. <laughs> I mean, it's brutal, brutal. But also, like, he gets to stay in there during the show. Also, he can hear you when you say how brutal it is. Oh, I mean, I don't think how did you brutal. agree to this? Well, that's yeah. what I was going to say. And, and, and why did I say, not only say yes, but so quickly and enthusiastically. Yeah. He's excited. And everyone here predicted it. They're, oh, he'll do it. Yeah. Attention. <laughs> yeah. Attention. So, yeah. Going to the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, if I got to take a dump, you're there with me. Eating. Yeah. And sleeping yeah. is going to be our big three. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the worst part, yeah. Well, I yeah. think we can make an exception if you have to go number two that you can no, unlock. For, no, no, that's uh, what the punishment no, is. No, no. Oh, no. no. Jimmy, Jimmy shooting basketball. You'll have to figure out how to sleep. But I honestly, sleep. and let me ask you, have you had a colonoscopy yet? You shit in a box, didn't you? I did, yes. Okay. Have you had one? Oh, yeah, two. They're terrible, but I would rather have another unwanted colonoscopy oh, than some, be some, tied to you for 24 hours. It's yes. not you personally. Just being yeah, handcuffed to anybody personal. for 24 yeah. hours is insane. But see, the funniest thing is if we do like on a Monday show starting at noon that day and us, you just got to sit there through that show and just be quiet. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the hardest part for him. And just sit there it and is. absorb. Yeah. yeah, the man that didn't need a microphone all of a sudden is doing a solilo- soliloquy. I think Royal Payne was on to something. I know it's already in stone, but if we were to send you to do ministry at Aliceville yeah. and we had documentation, that would have been good. Min- ministry is the tough part, Lance, <laughs> yeah. because some of those women lust after me, apparently. That's okay. You can take yeah. it out of their heads. <laughs> Only God could do that. 
Um, but but I, that I mean, you agree. I, I think you and I got off easy. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt. Uh, there's yours no, is I got off the easiest. Yours is the easiest. It is easiest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and yours wouldn't be bad if it wasn't the knowing you have the accessibility to get in. Yeah, I would like to be able to call and tell them I need to be that's, in the that's gym too today. Easy. Nope, can't do that. you got to sneak in them. Well, what if I allow you to go number two by yeah. yourself? I mean... I mean, I can see you guys at 11 o'clock. Y'all are watching like a rerun of Friends. And oh, like, this Griffith. hurts. Oh, but we're going to be videoing, right? Yeah, yeah. it's supposed it's to be like when yeah, Dunaway lived. Here. They're sleeping here. Yeah. yeah, I would learn some magic tricks from yeah. Chris Angel. <laughs> Try to figure out how to get that thing off. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, against the spirit of the rules. They won't do that. They won't do that. I, I got, I mean, I got destroyed. Who All came right. up with mine? I can't remember. Um, Who came up with Lance's? Do you remember? We were all just, I mean, these, uh, the one I definitely know is Reed came up with the hand delivery yeah. thing. I, I like I that one. Reed passed on the uh, three pointer thing. I think we all, and then we just started embellishing after that. Yeah. Like, what if you had to do this? And what if they, one of my ideas was that got uh, denied was Brown has to take chili and bullet for a weekend. Oh I wouldn't allow that. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't allow it. I'd rather be handcuffed to him. <laughs> yeah. he, he moves far so less. Savior, that was the word. Yeah, he moves yeah. far less than those dogs. Yeah. Hey, they ran away. They wanted to run away. <laughs> 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 and you owe me $1,000 for a new couch. All right, that's our bracket punishment this year. Great job by everybody involved, especially those that came up with Browns. I appreciate that so much. Show being brought to you today in part by our friends at Champies, Champies World Famous Fried Chicken, ChampiesChicken.com, Highway 119 in Alabaster. They'll be bringing us lunch tomorrow to watch the March Madness. They can bring lunch to you or dinner to you all weekend long, all tournament long, or you can go by there and watch the games, Highway 119 in Alabaster, ChampiesChicken.com, back in a moment. Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. Remember the name Way to Wellness if you're battling weight loss in your life. I'm Jim Dunaway from the next round. There was a time I was over 216 pounds until Way to Wellness helped me lose 45 pounds. And now for over two years, they've helped me keep that weight off. Here's their website, aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. That's a great name for a website because there's no cookie cutter plan. Everything is designed specifically for you. No contract, no sign-up fees, and your first consultation is free at Way to Wellness. Let's face it, a home is one of the most powerful assets you can have. And our friends at Mortgage Right want to help you build wealth through home ownership. Mortgage Right is all about providing competitive rates, a variety of loan products, and a multitude of resources for a seamless home buying experience. They treat their borrowers like family and are always looking to bring more happy homeowners under their roof. See more by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR today and start living. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. You gotta look your best to play your best. And our friends at Bandwagon can help your team find the perfect uniforms for that upcoming season. Bandwagon is with you every step of the way from developing your team logo design to choosing from their multitude of samples. You name the sport, they can make it happen. To get your uniform journey started, you can shoot them a message on any social media platform or check out their website, bandwagonsports.com. That's bandwagonsports.com. Next round, listeners, it's time to jump on the bandwagon. Storm season is here. Make sure you have a plan of action in place right now. Greg from Pell City and Storm Restoration Roofing should be your first call when storms hit. Insurance companies love working with Storm Restoration Roofing because of Greg Nelson's name and reputation in the industry. When storms hit, call Greg Nelson. He's local, 205-542-3531. He's the home of the free no-cost roof inspection. Greg from Pell City on Facebook, 205 542 Three five three one. It's Storm Restoration Roofing. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or Michelson and laservision.com. Hey, there's nothing worse than waking up to a plumbing problem. Don't get caught in a flooded house. Call the guys at Hemphill Services. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemphill are the only ones I trust to fix it and fix it right the first time. Hemphill Services does it right and always at a fair price. For all of your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs, trust the name that Birmingham has trusted since 1954. That is Hemphill Services. Call now, 205 229 2090. That's 205 229 2090. 
Everyone joking about my age in the commercial break that I'll need our folks at Precision Sports and Orthopedics after shooting five uh, three-pointers in one day. It's not just shooting them. I got to make five, which means I could be in one gym for a long, long time. Are you a top of the key guy? Uh, I am a top of the key guy. Is that not the best place to be? Uh, It depends on how you shoot. I like either side of the top. I go top of the key or a little to the right, a little to the right. Uh, I think uh, Chris Stewart would call it the elbow. Shoot it from the elbow of the three-point line, but behind the line. Uh, Can't wait to see who's there with me having a (laughs) rebound possibly for me when I start missing shots. Precision Sports Medicine gets you back in the game. If you tweak something, uh, they will take care of you, whether it's in the lawn or maybe it's playing pickup or whatever. Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedic, they're your provider. Um, Anything, elbow, shoulder, back, knee, uh, they get you back in the game. Orthopedic care, better together. Find your provider today. Call 205-512-3885, 512-3885, or go to precisionsportsortho.com slash 2024 precision sports ortho.com slash 2024 browning eg emily grace mcwarder is over in tuscaloosa at pro day she'll be at auburn's pro day as well uh you can see coverage at next round live at next round live kool-aid mckinstry ran his 40 yard dash what do you think it needed to be have you seen the time i have anything not seen in the, the four fours yeah i think anything in the four four sub four five i think he can still be in the first round i think if you get in the four five five area i think it's going to be a red flag uh the video is up at next round live but the official timing according to the sec network was four four seven for kool-aid mckinstry i like it there yeah. have been those that suggested it would be north of four five even yeah yeah i mean it's not like blow away speed but it's but good enough it's good enough with the, the tape you've yeah. got on kool-aid that uh, kool-aid should be in the first round yeah now. you still so think terry on arnold's gonna go in front oh of yeah, him, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. terry on could sneak into the top well he probably will top 15 yeah. I, I don't think he'd fallen out of the 20 yeah. i've seen him at 17 the most i saw him at 15 today but okay i did not look today all right so a little update from emily grace mcwarder who is over uh, at Alabama's Pro Day today, and practice is continuing everywhere. She was down at Auburn yesterday watching people throw passes. Uh, that's EG's live camera. Uh, I believe this is video of, am I right, Scott? Is this video of the Cooley McKinstry 40? Is that what we got here? That's him running Our photo. at the right. Oh, here it is. Yeah, here he yeah. comes. He's coming right at you, Jim. Uh, that, that was him running full speed. <laughs> is he lazy like South Carolina, Jim? He, he, just, had a, he just had a little... I said, I'm running full speed. A, a unique yeah, run, a unique <laughs> running style there. But uh, appreciate Again, that. He's got football speed, too. Yeah. Appreciate that uh, EG video down there. Said, I'm uh, running full speed. Yeah, you know what he did? He decided look, look, to look yeah, you, think he's a, you think he's a Gamecock? Yeah. Well, uh, EG's a long way away. Uh, you see, see the cones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, he I runs see. through the cones and then slows down. Okay, so. that's yeah. what it is. I only saw the, the breakdown speed yeah. at the end there. Great yeah. point, Great point, Brownie. All right, trash time, Brown. We usually do this about 11.30, 11.35 right now. What time now. is it now? It's 11.35. It's brought to you by our friends at Mortgage Right. Hit the big button, Rockstar. So what was your inspiration for tonight? Be honest with me and go into detail. Wow. LT's Trash is presented by Mortgage Right. Mortgages done the right way. He doesn't like it, right? If you watched Curb Your Enthusiasm from this week, did you see it? I'm two episodes in. I got to see the second episode. Did something to do with that? Yeah, the dynamic between Vince Vaughn and Larry David in this week's episode is incredible. And the the variety of do rags that Leon's got is amazing. I mean, he's got every color in the closet. Tear that ass up, man. <laughs> uh, are you a veteran looking for a VA loan? Mortgage Right has been advocating for veterans since their company began. As a veteran-owned, operated company committed to your well-being, they can help you find the best terms available, guide you through every step of the process. As a veteran-owned, operated company, they understand the difference between working when someone gets it, someone who doesn't. They've made it their mission to simplify the VA loan process. Visit them on Highway 280 right here in Birmingham. You can apply online, mortgageright.com slash TNR. Call 205-815-9200. 200 NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. We start first. Mr. Beast, the YouTuber known for big money giveaways, is going bigger than ever with his new show on Amazon's Prime Video. Now, the mega popular YouTube creator, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, announced a deal with Prime Video for Beast Games. This is a reality competition show promising 
the winner a $5 million cash prize, believed to be the largest single payout ever in television history. Now, details of the specific challenges that will be featured in Beast Games remain under wraps. According to Prime Video, the show will feature 1,000 contestants vying for the single $5 million cash prize in a, quote, fast-paced and high-production format. Mr. Beast went on to say in a statement, my goal is to make the greatest show possible and prove YouTubers and creators can succeed on other platforms. Amazon gave me the creative control I need to make this happen. I hope to make the YouTube community proud. Uh, this guy, all the kids know him, so... And he's got so much money if this thing flops. Yeah, Lunsford has some information. Okay. Okay. We talked a little bit about this in the Meltdown yesterday because it's $5 million prize. That's insane. Yeah. yeah, it's an insane prize. Like, So he made like $82 million, his gross, last year on YouTube. But like the way he does things is fascinating. I don't know if I've ever watched it, but he's done reality shows in the past. Like He did like a real-life Squid Games that obviously you didn't die in. And he did, does all these crazy reality shows. And like he basically takes out loans does these crazy things for like a million dollar loan instantly pays it back because his youtube channels like you know if we want to really make it on youtube we'll get to mr beast levels one day yeah let's um, hope. so what do you think his monthly income from just youtube would be lots for ballpark uh if i had to guess i'd say it's probably a few million three four million just from youtube monthly i mean because most of the yeah. stuff mm. comes from brand deals he's open restaurants he's he started like a candy line all that kind of stuff but he is by far the biggest person I, in the uh, world. I picked my little one up from school yesterday, Lunch, and she always likes to stop at the store, and they had Mr. Beast candy bars at the register. Yep. I mean, like the guy has. Oh, wow. He's mar I mean, he's he's a marketing genius. And did she get one? No. Okay. But she pointed it out. Look, Dad, it's Mr. Beast. And he still lives like a super modest lifestyle. He lives yeah. like in a cheap house in, I think it's Greenville. Uh, I don't remember where exactly. Or Green, Greensboro. Anyway, somewhere in the Carolinas, he still lives, and he drives like a really bad car. He takes all that money. I mean, his retirement fund's probably pretty stout. Yeah, I'd say. Good for Jimmy Donaldson, a.k.a. Mr. Beast. Um, okay, do you know anybody that's got a five head? Uh, the big forehead? I've got a pretty big forehead I think myself. I'm, I'm, yeah, right out of legit four. Oh, you measure it with the fingers? Yeah. Well, where does head. Jim's forehead begin and end? I yeah, don't that's, know. that's the question. Well, yeah. anyway, after facing years more of hands. bullying and insecurity due to the Love size it. of her forehead, 27-year-old Beth Halsey decided to undergo forehead reduction mm -hmm. surgery. See, my power alley's conflict. I will say she looks a lot better now. Well, what'd she do? Just move some hair up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They I mean, still see the scars, but still, like, I mean, like, on the planted before a few picture, rows. she's trying super hard to show the entire forehead. Like, girls yeah, don't Yeah, I agree with Ron right, yeah. Tightly back. Yeah, but it almost looks like she is cafeteria lady on the left with the hair really pulled yeah. back. The hair net. Yeah. But yeah. I do think, she, I mean, she jumped a couple of points. Now, she seems like she put a little more makeup on and cared a little bit more about the appearance. Well, there. I'm with Rockstar. I think she knew she was doing before and afters. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people say, when you do your before, I want you to look Yeah, look, look, Don't make, put makeup straight on. Straight out of bed, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a legitimate five head, though. Now, yeah, it's but she's sad. Got her hair, who wears her hair pulled? Nobody. If they got that forehead. Yeah. They don't pull their hair back like she's about to be a uh, gymnast for Yugoslavia back in the day in the 72 Olympics. Yeah, yeah. specific, now, though. She yes. said that she rocked bangs to conceal her forehead. However, the fear of her forehead being exposed in windy conditions prompted her to spend $11,000 on a surgical procedure that would lower her hairline. I don't know if I would trust that. Like, Me that's either. a major procedure for 11K. Describing her forehead as a source of constant self-consciousness, Beth shared her relief post-surgery, stating that the procedure had been life-changing for her confidence. Well, good for her now. So did they take away forehead or add hair? Which one did they I do? I think they almost like move your hairline up. I like, think, I like think I what you would yeah, do is cut just, and yeah, tuck. Yeah. Cut yeah. and pull. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. that's the way you do it. It looks like while she was in there, she did a little lip, extra lip injection. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe yeah. a little bit in the t-shirt area. Lip injection? <laughs> uh, how about this one? In a high-profile divorce case that sparked some heated debates in China, a man divorced his wife of 16 years after learning none of his one- to three children she birthed during their marriage were his. Well, I, I mean, that has got to be difficult to find out, Lance. Like, but what do you want? Uh, what? This is twenty. This is the day of twenty-three and me. I've heard similar stories like this. But well, I wonder what your. So, do you think he suspected it? I got okay, to do the story. Here we go. Okay, yeah. December two thousand and seven. Uh, this guy Chen married Yu Hua, a woman eight years his junior. She's right about that. She is a Hua. Soon after meeting her for the first time, red flag one. Now, soon after tying the knot, uh, Hua informed Chen that she I was think it's pregnant. Pronounced Hua, and he was so overwhelmed by the news that he was going to be a father that he never realized his wife had already have to have been pregnant when they met for the child that they were having. Okay, so he didn't do the math. He did not. Okay, she's a little thick in the middle, but I still like her yeah, guys. Yeah. I think I'm gonna marry her. Yeah. Now the years passed by, and Hua 
gave birth to another daughter, which Chen assumed was his, but he started suspecting his wife's infidelity in 2019 when she informed him she was pregnant once again. This time, Chen knew that he hadn't been home when the baby was conceived. He confronted his wife about it. She insisted the baby was his, and in the end, the man accepted her version and welcomed his third daughter. It was November of 2022 that Chen finally became convinced his wife hadn't been faithful. He learned that she had been having an affair with a man named Wu and that she had given birth to her fourth daughter. Not Wu! Convinced of his previous suspicions, Hoa's infidelity had been correct. Chen filed for divorce, ordered a paternity test for each of the three kids. Result was shocking. None of the three daughters he had raised on his own had been conceived by him. Heartbroken were they man all Wu's? Took his wife to court. Asked for paternity of the children anyway, but also for compensation for emotional distress. This is awful. Yeah. You yeah. know the ages, but like then like these are the, yeah. I think it's three girls that you've raised. And, uh, but he has asked for, uh, uh, what's it called? Custody. So oh, yeah. he's like, I still want them. Like I've raised them. This story reminded me of one of the great punchlines of any joke ever. I'm not going to tell the joke, but the punchline is, you like beef and broccoli too? Don't we do the setup then. Uh, no, no, no. Um, it's a great joke. So at some point, the court reading said... Oh, no. <laughs> Keep going. Back out. Uh, Hoa got wooed? Oh, God, you could do better than that. So much more. Yeah. Is that the best you could do? Yeah, I'm sorry, Beef and Broccoli. It's a good joke. I mean, is this really the dude? Yeah, he's a little That's upset. not a file photo? <laughs> yeah, those are good uh, bed sheets, though. Boy, I don't know how photos. you come back from that. I mean, for him or the daughters. I'd That's have to tough. say he probably ignored... Many red flags along the way, wouldn't you think? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Denial, denial, yeah. denial. And it finally got to a point where, oh, boy, that's tough. Uh, that's a tough one. Okay, here are dinner facts for you guys. Tutti frutti means, in Italian, what do you think? Tutti frutti in Italian means, um, that is going to mean... Um, uh, very fruity. Uh, <laughs> tutti frutti means it is... Are these funny or real? This, this, is, this is real. This is what it means in Italian. It's going to be... True translation. When somebody gives you a flavor of tutti frutti. Yeah, it's mixed. That's tr- I mean, all the fruits. All yeah. the fruits. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, how about this dinner fact? Spike Lee, whose birthday today, by the way, 67, negotiated with a Brazilian drug lord to allow him to film Michael Jackson's 96 music video, They Don't Care About Us, in Rio de Janeiro slum. Now, the drug kingpin replied, quote, with Michael Jackson here, this will be the safest place in the world. Oh. So he just had to basically pay off the drug kingpin to use their territory to make money? Is that what the story is, essentially? Well, it's a violent place. He's like, I want to shoot it here, but yeah. we, get, we have to be secure. And he's but like, you guys, and you guys drug, run this territory. Like, see that? Yeah. We will protect. I didn't see it. Hey, we need an instant replay. I don't what think happened? the hand was coming forward. I lost it on the, on, on the go-back. <laughs> I really, I don't think they, I don't think it's a, I, I think that's a fumble, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. so somebody yeah. should come in there and recover. Yeah, the I think so. Rule. Uh, imagine if this would have happened. Alexander Graham Bell believed people should say, Ahoy, when they pick up the phone. Ahoy! Edison proposed hello, putting the word into common usage. Interesting. So it was going to be ahoy to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never thought that somebody had to invent that. I just thought it was natural that when the phone rang, you said hello. now, because you know exactly who's calling everything. Hey. But you know how weird hello would be if we would have gone ahoy all these years? Ahoy! I don't say, do you ever say hello on the phone? No, it's usually hey. Yeah, because I know who's calling. My son doesn't say anything. He answers... And you just know the phone's been answered. And yeah. I'm like, Carter, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. I answered the phone. waiting for you to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. It's like man. an assassin. <laughs> and I was like, well, I didn't hear you say hello. Do you need something? I was just calling to tell you I love you. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, man. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. You're tired. Not, not a phone talker. How like, about, uh, like, my youngest will only call me on FaceTime audio. Like, she doesn't use the full FaceTime. It's just FaceTime audio. I don't get that. I don't either. Well, probably because she knows you'll hear it ring. I guess. Who knows? Uh, Emma Stone just won a Academy Award for Poor Things, which I was told by our boy C. Stu. How about this? So happy birthday again, C. Stu. He takes a nap in his recliner, and he wakes up, and he's in one of those dazes, and he hits his remote, and it buys Poor Things. Like, he is the least yeah. candidate to watch Poor Things. So he's like, <laughs> How do you do that? He was like, because I spent like $27 oh, yes. on this movie, I was going to watch it. And he was like, the first 10 minutes... All I could think about was how disturbing this movie is and how much you would like it. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> so anyway, have you seen it? Uh, no, I find myself, though, like that day I was trying to be uh, 
cultured uh-huh. and watching that a day. movie that was not the a rom com. Yeah. And I forget what it was, but I told you about it when the, the people are on the yacht and the bad captain and Oh, Triangle Sadness. Yeah. Triangle of Sadness. And I was just kept thinking all the way through this movie sucks, but I bet LT likes it. Uh um, knew the title right away. Yeah. I thought it was a little overrated. Yeah, it but was. Emma Stone registered for the Screen Actors Guild under her real name, Emily Stone. It was already taken, so she decided on the name Emma in the honor of Emma Bunton, a.k.a. Baby Spice of the Spice Girls. She oh. is supposedly obsessed with uh, the Spice Girls. I think it was the Graham Norton show where she was on. I saw that. And he was something right. like, I think it was that where she's like, what if I told you I got all five Spice Girls here? And she's like, she started crying. She's like, no, no, no. Like, I go, what if I, and they said like, I don't have the Spice Girls. Yeah, I'm just like, screw she was like, She's like, you please yeah. tell me you're messing with me because I would freak well, out. You know who else is is completely mesmerized by the Spice Girls is Adele. Really? And Adele says like one of her major influences. It's crazy. So yeah. why does Lunsford think Dunaway would like poor things but needs to watch it alone? A lot of sex. Uh, uh, lots of it. Um, Emma Stone's naked in like half the movie. But Tyler it's says one you need to like, watch alone. Jim will like some scenes. <laughs> watch <laughs> it, 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 it is a very good movie. It's one of my so favorite of the year. She gets, she gets naked? Yeah, full oh, frontal. She's, yeah, she's completely naked in probably half the movie. Oh, I didn't but, think she yeah, did She's those. got like the brain of a teenager. Well, the whole so thing is a woman kills herself, but she's pregnant. And so Willem Dafoe is like a Dr. Frankenstein kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Takes the brain out of the baby, puts it in the woman that killed herself, and she's trying to have to relearn her life. Oh. Is this a true story? No. <laughs> Oh, so. poor yeah. thing. I mean, I knew that, but hey. I just figured they covered her up in sheets or just oh, well-placed no. what, shots. What a great casting job with Willem Dafoe, though. Oh, he was incredible. Mark Ruffalo is is actually really, really good. I thought he was actually the best supporting actor of the year. I yeah. like Ruffalo, but he always talks in that weird voice. That's his, his natural voice. voice. Well, I get it, <laughs> well, but it's know, always weird. He's lucky to be alive. You know, he's he very that, animated in this. He had the, uh, the, the brain situation. I forgot exactly what it was. Was it a stroke? No, I, I think he had a tumor, and he had to have major yeah. operation. It's on, affected his voice. Yeah. Uh, and finally, well, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I feel bad. Now. The dude that wrote Winnie the Pooh is it A.A. A. Milnan? Milnan? Yeah, like Milan. I can't yeah. know. Honestly. Anyway, he stopped writing Winnie the Pooh books partially because he was worried about the fame that it brought his son, Christopher Robin. They later became estranged because his son resented the books and the fame they brought him. Oh, oh to be rich. Oh, I hate you, Dad. I wanted oh, to earn it myself. All, all the millions. Yeah, I never have yeah. to work again. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Ooh. So you made up for the fumble. Yeah, yeah, fumble. Scoop and score. That is Trash Today, brought to you by... Hey, buying a home, major milestone in life, getting it right, comes down to the right advice at the right time. That's why we're proud to partner with our friends at Mortgage Right, who do mortgages the right way. Had an opportunity to hang out with Tanner Allen yesterday. Great people down there. They're going to make sure that nothing leaves the state. So 205-815-9200 to mortgageright.com slash TNR. All right, and this hour brought to you by Champy. Some of you in the chat room are saying that Caleb Downs is not at Ohio State's practice. We have not confirmed that, but Brown will work on that in the commercial break. Yeah. One more segment to go this is the next round brought to you by champions chicken highway 119 in alabaster back in a moment follow dunaway on twitter and instagram at jim dunaway this hour of the next round is presented by the birmingham racecourse casino now featuring seven days of giveaways with your chance to win a share of up to one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. the more you visit the birmingham racecourse casino the more chances you have to win Spring weather is here, and our friends at Hemphill Services are offering a $69 HVAC tune-up, plus 10% off any service call when you mention the next round. Call Adam, Chad, and the guys at Hemphill Services. Make sure your HVAC unit is ready to keep up with the changing weather. Hemphill Services, locally owned and operated independent train dealer. The team can service all makes and models. For all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. 205-229-2090 or HemphillServices.com. That's 205-229-2090. HempHillServices.com. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Hey, let me tell you about our friends at Urology Centers of Alabama. Compassionate and comprehensive urological care with 35 physicians, 17 locations across Alabama. Their patient-centered approach to all of your urological needs. Remember, they've got that new men's health center. It is beautiful, helping men with a wide range of sensitive male issues in a comfortable environment. You can always go online, visit urologycentersalabama.com, schedule an appointment with one of their many urologists today. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Man, that's a bold question. But it's got that irresistible taste to back it up. One thing's for sure, when you've got an irresistible tasty match like Zero Sugar and Zero Calories, something sensational is bound to happen. 
It's too bad you can't taste it with your ears because this Coke Zero Sugar tastes amazing. Truthfully, it's hard to put into words, and that's my job. You'll have to take a taste for yourself. Coke Zero Sugar, best Coke ever? It's that time of year. Hoops, hops, and wings with our friends at Walk-Ons. We're talking about the unbelievable madness of the best viewing and the best food in town. This tournament season, try any of the three local walk-ons in Trussville, Stadium Trace in Hoover, and also the Greystone location. A wonderful menu with original food, great drinks, but most importantly in tournament season, TV's everywhere, so you can keep up with how your bracket's burning. Your home for all the tournament action is Walk-On Sports Bistro. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. All right, so Caleb, Caleb Downs um, is at Ohio State's Pro Day today. So okay. uh, those those reports say he's not doing anything with Ohio State. And by the way, I think Caleb Downs, this might sound crazy. You guys probably would agree. I think he would go in the top 15 if he came out this year. Oh, if he so, went right yeah. now, yeah. yeah. Well, right now, yes. He's that good of a player. I, uh, I mean, I, I think this is much ado about nothing, honestly, with Caleb Downs. The Proctor thing, I could see Proctor getting to Iowa and – Probably number one, looking around and thinking, "Holy crap!" I left the Taj Mahal to go to Motel Six. Yeah, Yeah. what have I done here? Just the facilities. Yeah, Yeah. and then also, um, I mean, not entirely because Iowa does put offensive linemen in the NFL. A ton of them. A ton of them. But you don't get asked to pass block a ton at Iowa, and that is a pretty key talent in the NFL. I mean, it's not quite like Scott is showing us a photo there. Is that Caleb Downs? That's a photo of Caleb Downs at the pro day. Yeah. Uh, it's not quite like playing Lance for a. Um, Did the, the Alabama softball coach go up there to cover Pat, Mur- Pat Murphy? <laughs> it's uh, it's not quite like playing in a triple option where you never pass block, but they don't throw it a ton at Iowa. Yeah, I think it's more what you guys alluded to. I think he got up there and he's like, "Damn, this is not what I thought it was." Green, green is not our grass is not always greener. Well, as a very wise person once told me, if the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, it could mean they have a bad septic tank. That's right, and you go you always got to remember that. And Dunaway, I don't think you can undervalue him hearing from his former teammates the different culture that is in Tuscaloosa. I said that, uh, was it to you? Was it to Reed, Lance? It may have been to the whole group before the show. Uh, Suttles that you just, um, New Bama Bourbon's up. Suttles was here, by the way. That, you know, he's on this spring break trip and some other Alabama players are there and they're talking about just the mood is different. Yeah, we've heard there. it from players. And yeah. he was like, well, you know, I think I would have liked that better if it was a little bit more laid back. I mean, Booker said, you know, before the fun was in the winning, now the fun is in the practice. And uh, that may not be the direct quote from Booker, but that was pretty close to what he said. So, I mean, I could see that being a discussion, him thinking, well, you know, maybe maybe it was better there. Well, I mean, you guys go back to your college days, and I remember we had a good group and we would hang out. And you just imagine the situation. He goes on spring break with these guys, and these guys are like – I can't tell you how awesome it is now. Like, you would be yeah. blown away. You, you got five-star everywhere, but this staff is a little more low-key. You're going to love this. You're going to love that. And you hear that over and over again. And these guys recruiting back. I mean, this is not surprising to me, but it is a problem. It is a problem when you can leave a school and months later you can come back to that school. Kevin's right. That Scott, that photo, not that Scott took the photo. It's from Patrick Murphy, who covers them. The photo of Caleb Downs. I mean, I think we've got better photos of Kate Middleton right now than we he do that Caleb Downs photo. Yeah. I really don't believe any photos now. Yeah. Uh, that Kate Middleton deal is super weird. I care nothing about the British royal family, but I am invested in that story. Well, I am too because, reason. you know, they wanted to escape the public eye, but now she won't come out and, like, do an interview. Yeah. yeah. And they, well, she may be recovering from health issues. She's supposed to come out at Easter service is her next Is that what they're saying? Appearance. Yeah. Damn, good job, Dunaway. Yeah. So, uh, abdominal surgery. I don't know how intensive it was. They said it's not cancer. Um, but so. did you see the video of her and William yesterday? And everybody's like, that is not Kate Middleton. People yeah. can say that's Kate Middleton, but that's the, not Kate Middleton. There was another Photoshop issue um, right. with the picture. I don't know if it was that one or not. Yeah, it it's, a, that's a super weird but story. But it still had the queen in it, so uh, you know, it wasn't, wasn't supposed to be recent. <laughs> they forgot to Photoshop out the queen? <laughs> no, it was, it was something about the hands again, I think. 
Um, all right, final thought here brought to you by our friends at New York Butcher Shop, New York Butcher Shop. Uh, Jim and the guys do a fantastic job at the New York Butcher Shop. Make sure you stop by one of those two great locations. I had the shepherd's pie last week. What'd you think? Oh, it was great. So I've talked to Jim about So he does like middle of the week special, like a Wednesday special and really unique dishes. But it was his ground beef. It had the, the carrots, the, uh, the peas in it. Rockstar probably would not dig this. No, I'm out. It was topped <laughs> with the mashed potatoes, but it was fantastic. And uh, this pre-ready meals to go. Of course, if you want to get in there and grill the finest when it comes to certified Angus prime beef steaks, burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, all natural chicken cut to order just for you with a great selection of fine wines and desserts. The New York Butcher Shop, one-stop dinner shop, two locations, Cabo Heights, Highway 119 in Greystone, New York Butcher Shop, rare quality, well done service. All right. Do you, do you have a final thought on something before? Well, I mean, we're going to get too far away from it. Tony Bennett's one of the most overrated coaches in sports. Go ahead. Okay. You could have done that tomorrow, but I did promise wow, you had game, a chance to do it. The game's over. Yeah. The game, so it's over I, and I forgotten I disagree. Tomorrow. I think the style is awful. Let's Terrible. not forget four 30-plus win seasons in six years. If you take away, and you can't, I know, that – that initial opening round loss, that Virginia team was going to go deep. Yeah. He's been to three Elite Eights, including uh, a Sweet 16 at Washington State. The guy can coach. The style's awful. He has got to become more like Nick Saban and get with the times and get a little more innovative. Overrated, man. Overrated. If that guy was the coach of my program, I'd tap out. You cannot watch that crap. Okay. Don't forget Bracket Challenge. Go sign up for that. Next round, uh, live.com. Next round, live.com. Next round, store.com. Excuse me. Next round, dot store. Next round, dot store. Um, you have the chance to buy a lot of merch. Brown, give me a 30-second on that so in one minute LT can well, react to Clemson suing to leave the ACC too. Probably the biggest story in college athletics. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to squeeze into the finals. Go to 60 yeah, Tony Bennett has done this before because he's an overrated coach. If a uh, 16 <laughs> beats a 1 or a 15 beats a 2, anything you buy between now and 11.59 tonight, we're going to give your money back. That's if a 16 beats a 1 or a 15 beats a 2. Lance, Clemson. Okay, Clemson sues. They want out now too. Uh, I mean, this is not surprising. The ACC is crumbling. And if you're Clemson, you are a brand, especially when it comes to the moneymaker that is football. They are going to sail on the coattails of Florida State. And I just wonder where they're going to end up. I think they end up getting out of the ACC. Florida State does too. Do they come to the SEC? Do you guys even want them? I don't want them. I don't don't know that it helps the SEC. Yeah. I'm told – I'm not told. I read by people who covered the ACC – that North Carolina is the linchpin. That if North Carolina decides to to sue and leave, that uh, ESPN themselves may uh, not renew the contract. They've got a look in that nobody talks about coming up in February, where they could say we're uh, we're not going to pick up the last nine years of this television contract. Wow! Which at that point, the grants rights are still there, but there's no TV partner out there, and that could crumble the ACC. So. ESPN can make this happen, and they're just waiting to hear what North Carolina wants to do. They're the big ones that apparently everyone wants. God bless you. God bless America.